It's five o'clock somewhere, but right now, you're rocking with Noonish. What's up, everybody? Oh, I got to give a little props to that 88 one time. (laughs) You see what it is. Back, man. You saw it. You saw the the first down call right there, MC? Yeah, I got to bring it in, right? Had to bring it in proper, like that boy C.D. Lamb. First down. Let's go, man. Hey, happy to be back in the building on another Wednesday around noon. It is noonish. Live, I'm your host, J.A. Jonathan Anderson. I forgot the A.K.A., but yeah, coming at you live, man. Super stoked about this episode. Got a great guest coming at you today. But first, let me go ahead and introduce our awesome co-host, starting with the one and only El Grande Toro, Jonas hey. Bull in the house. Which I, I found my, I found my awesome, oh, my bad. awesome headgear. Yeah. You found it? Well, my wife found it. Nice. <laughs> hey, so we're gonna, we you got the, wife. Yeah. Things. switching right. them out. I like your headgear. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. And you know who it is, man. It is half man, half amazing. Always on time, right. Mr. <laughs> want to right. buy you. Put sticky, in no, no, no sticky, right. no sticky hands. That's right. Hey, Mr. MC Mark Clayton in the building, man, coming at you for another one. Coming at you, we got some stuff to talk about today. It was some craziness went on in your world last week. I'm so glad you made it today because I know you were shook last week. But we'll, we'll get to that. Two body blows. Two body blow, Body blow. We'll get to it. And man, a very <laughs> special guest, man, a good friend of mine, the Mr. Greg Matthews in the building, the man. Oh, he's got the Dodger blue one. It looks real good, <laughs> too, bro. Got to be sports with the Dodger stuff. Hey, man, hey, y'all had a heartbreaking loss this, week, this year, too. I, I say y'all, but it's almost like a week because I really, that's one team I love and respect to the fullest, to the Dodgers. Thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah, and I, I thought they were going to win another one back to back. It just goes to show that I have followed the Dodgers since 75, yep. and I'm just not a bandwagon guy. We just, injuries, and man, they just can't seem to pull it off in the post. Man, at least this well, year. Right. right. Yeah, and the year the guys were cheating, I told, well, when Matt Kemp was on the show, I was like, basically y'all won 17 and 18, because right. we found out the guys were cheating against you guys, you know what I mean? So I usually wear a plastic, gaudy ring yeah. just to honor the Astros win the World Series. <laughs> mm, you know, that's oh, we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't speak of that squad over uh, here, man. That's a despicable team. Yeah. I'm glad they that's took that out this year. I'm glad they won, mm. but they lost. But they right. Won. Yeah. Right. Hey, exactly. but the Braves winning wasn't a bad thing this year. It wasn't. And that and was a deserved. great series with the Dodgers. That was I a great even, series with the Dodgers. I was even quoting, I said, the Braves look better than the Dodgers. This yeah. Year. They deserve to win it. And they won it without two of their stars. Right, exactly. Without Azuna mm-hmm. and without Acuna, the guy that was in the home run mm-hmm. race did this you, year. Did, did we ever oh, actually? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did we ever actually introduce our special guest? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is the man <laughs> right here. I'm, I'm, did we just, I mean, did we just dive? Did we just, we just drive, dive right <laughs> yeah, no, man. So you know, we gotta gotta come to you, bro. So you you've written an awesome book, you. right? And uh, I haven't had the pleasure of reading it, but I heard it was awesome from all the reviews. Most men don't read, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Unless it's that audio book right, or somebody the, uh, the Cliff book, Notes, exactly. right? The Cliff Notes. Uh, yes. Put it in the bathroom. I might read it in a week, but um, no, man. So. You know, can you kind of tell me about what inspired you to write that book, and so, kind of tell everybody about this crazy story of so, yours, so bro? What's like, what's the name of the book? First of all, it's pretty helpful. The book is called Wild Awakening. Wild yeah. Awakening, man. And we were, you know, we were talking about dad stuff before we went on the air, and there was a lot of changes that took place. Um, Jonah, him, and I have some similar upbringings and some similar things going on with our dads, and mm-hmm. and that was definitely me, overachiever. Yep. And so um, I missed out on a lot of things in life because I was chasing, chasing the wrong things. Yeah. And so uh, it definitely changed me a lot. Uh, you just want me to jump into it? I mean, I mean, yeah, chasing the wrong things is probably, I mean, like 99.9% of all men. 
Right, it's a very select few that <laughs> mature, all, urgy, uh, yeah, mature yeah, early enough. <laughs> yeah, of all people, <laughs> like but specific, specific like man, for right. dang sure, we mature a lot later, right? Yeah, I think right. I think it's I think it'd be worthwhile right. to mention at least some of the history leading up to okay. the sure. Wild Awakening. Absolutely, yeah. uh, because because I think that trajectory, you know, as we discussed previously, mm-hmm. what is a part of some pieces of that are going to overlap with with a lot of people's yes, sir, life, life experience. Right? Life yeah. experience. Yeah. yeah. So I originally started writing the book because of the fact that um, when I got back after the, I was attacked by a grizzly, and we'll we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really Spoiler couldn't word. get uh, anybody that I thought really understood, and so after they uh, the family would go to bed, I would lock myself in my office and and literally just start typing, not intending to write a book. Just mm-hmm. to, there's something about either writing or typing stuff and getting it out yes mm-hmm. uh, there's there is power in that mm-hmm. and there were times where I found myself uh, three o'clock in the morning and I'm just I'm sweating and I'm looking at the wall and I have no idea it was just so overwhelming at that point yeah that I really had no idea where I was I mean there was PTSD what call it whatever you want but um, that was the original intent of writing the book yeah um, now, when did you realize you were writing a book uh, when my wife came up with the title uh, Slow Human Fast Bear. <laughs> really good. Oh, man. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, you know, I'm going to be interjecting some uh, some comic relief because some of the stuff, it, it just, people would just be like. Yeah, no, when you told me what happened, like, because I was completely clueless to it all. Right. And when you told me what happened, like, like I'm talking for the next few days, I was just like, what? <laughs> like you serious? You know, incredible story. But um, you know, I just I want to go into the story. Right. Like you know how and what the hell happened <laughs> that day, right? So going back to what Jonah was saying is there there has to be some some premise information in order to kind of weave this together. Yeah. So I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, when I was uh, accepted the Lord in high school. Um, I kind of mirrored it with my dad, and my dad ended up leaving early in my life. Yes. And I never told him anything, but it deeply impacted me. And I was was dead set, just like Jonah, of proving to the world and to my dad Mm -hmm. that I was worth loving and that I had... um, that I could be a man with with qualities and character and integrity and achieve stuff. And so after my dad left and I accepted the Lord, I kept my dad's at arm length Mm -hmm. and so uh with that i went on my pursuit of um trying to accomplish in my life um it's a it's an embarrassing long laundry list but so i was a firefighter for 21 years a rescue company truck company engine company aid car medic unit uh worked at the world trade center for three and a half weeks Mm -hmm. after the attack wow um was what was that, that experience like? <laughs> that's a story in itself. Yeah, that's that's a whole. That changed my. That changed the trajectory. That was the paradigm shift mm. to leave the fire service, mm-hmm. and then go and um, do what I do now: anti-terrorism and counterterrorism. I never wanted to respond to something like that again. I yeah. wanted to stop. And my yeah. dad was already doing it. Yeah, he was yeah. working for NCIS, and so ended up oh, doing wow. that in uh, city of San Diego. Uh, I worked for the Admiral for Navy Region Southwest. I was an anti-terrorism officer there. Uh, now I, I secure dams and hydropower generation plants and locks here in Texas and Oklahoma for U.S. Army Corps. So all of those different things. Uh, I started a, a national emergency service uh, system in Uganda mm. up on the border of Sudan and the Congo. Oh, nice. Um, it is oh, bad. Okay. Yeah, so you had at that point the Lord's Resistance Army, Joseph yep. Coney, and... and the Night Walkers, which uh, all kinds of different stuff. Um, I've been to, uh, Gulu. Oh, you have been to Gulu. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah and Sorote and Gulu, Gulu. and yeah. it's le- it's legitimately yeah. dangerous. Yeah, for sure. um, so it's, it's the real hood, like the hood here. There's nothing <laughs> right. on the it's hood, it's, 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 the yeah, jungle, yeah, whatever you want to call it in, yeah, in Africa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, but yeah. So all of these things, like I was asking Jonah, I mean, it was the first thing in my mind was. If I accomplish this, is my dad going to be proud of me? Mm-hmm. And 
I question whether or not with him leaving, whether he loved me. I mean, I just, as an eight-year-old boy, you're going to create a whole bunch of different oh, things. Really? But that whole thing was, um, that was my whole adult lifehood. Pursue, mm -hmm. pursue, pursue. Right. Um, to the point where I didn't want to have kids because I didn't want to bring danger or harm or anything like that from how I act or anything. I just had no idea what, I knew I came from my dad, I knew I was significantly hurt and I just didn't want to bring that on to my my sons or daughters you want some um, born identity type just out there just <laughs> right solving stuff so bottom line fast forward to 2015 in the fall my brother and I are living out a dream we've always had of uh, testing our skills that my dad taught us uh, hunting moose I was hunting with a bow in uh, remote Alaska oh nice and so we're four days into a 10-day hunt we're about 18 miles in uh, by boat and two miles packed in. Um, luckily, I brought a rifle. That, My yeah, brother that's... had a rifle, <laughs> um, but we were out. Uh, that's how he feeds his family. He's got five kids, so it's moose and um, caribou, bear, whatever. And so, uh, and can I say that I, I respect bow hunting, like to no end, <laughs> like that's real deal hunting, right? Right, because the animal has a chance to then come back and react. So you got to keep going well, at that bad yeah, boy. And you've got to get a real close. Fight. you got to get closer than that. Yeah. Now, if you could just get, I've been after Joe Rogan and Adam Greentree <laughs> to get me on there, because they love talking about bear attacks. So. Yeah. Anyway, but I'd much rather be here right now with you. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I see some movement. I'm fully camoed up. We're two miles up. My brother's about 50 yards behind me. I catch some movement out of the and I'm thinking, oh, and I can feel my heart rate yeah. go up. Yeah. I'm starting to breathe heavier, connect my release up have, to the bow. Have you done any honey? No. Have you done any honey? Uh, like there's, that's a duck special hunt. feeling. It's, it, Mario it's a rush. Especially when, you, when, you, yeah. when it's like, you know, it's just about to happen. Right. The, the video game, the buck in the arcades, that buck, uh, yep. I've, <laughs> I've done that one, yeah. Buck, Oregon yep. Trail yep. did that. <laughs> and when you're talking about something that's anywhere from like 900 to 1200 pounds, yeah, I mean that is, and they I'm move, <laughs> yeah, they move. I watch. They move stealth like a ninja too. It's Dude, slow. That's yeah. crazy. All you catch is like a flicker of an ear, and I'm sure that's well, it's not what I caught. I caught some movement, what? so I went back, swung, and when I looked, there was a eight and a half foot. 650 pound grizzly with its nose in the air standing on its back legs so he was hunting you and, and you thought you were was hunting swinging him like this sniffing oh, the air wow. i was i felt all the blood rush out of my face <laughs> i'm serious <laughs> no it was you know what you know those moments where like in school where you get caught for something you know and you just get that oh, yeah, that yeah. dump of like yeah. your blood pressure yeah, yeah. Feeling, like you're gonna faint yeah there is no heroism going on at this point yeah. at all. <laughs> <laughs> you can't back out of that situation. <laughs> no, it I'm was just it like I'm it, in it right exactly. now. So it's it's about 35 yards, basically at the confluence of these two trails. One would bring a broadside shot to me, and that's the one I wanted. The other one circled back to my brother. So my first thought is run. So there were two, two what? Two bears. Well, there were actually. That big bear and then two bears just about the size of mama bear, too. Oh, my she gosh. Would, when we called them in, because we were making calls, basically the, the biologist said that she was training those bears to hunt. So, so y'all were... So she, so she thought you were a moose. Were she thought we were a moose, exactly. And so she was sniffing and doing her thing. And uh, at that point, I thought about running. That's a bad idea. Then there's a big log in front of me. I thought about stuffing myself down there and hiding. But the fact is that it smelled me all the way to here and heard it. And then plus, if it took that trail, it was going to end up with down at my brother. So I, I put the bow down. Not the best choice of weapons. I had a 357 Magnum on my hip. Yeah. And then I had a, a 300 Win Mag rifle. So I grabbed that, <laughs> belly crawled around this tree, trying to get my, uh, my confidence up, hoping it would be gone when I came out from behind the tree, but it wasn't. Yeah. Um, Stood up on my tiptoes. I brought the, the rifle up, and I didn't have the wherewithal to dial it back, but I was glassing with it, so all I had was hair. So I just lowered it to my hip, flipped the safety up, got on my toes, and said, whoa, bear. And that bear turned, standing up. Its eyes locked on me. It dropped down to all fours. Its head started sinking down. Ears went flat. A big muscle came out of the top of its head, and all the hair stood up on its back and it started charging me. 
So um, what what went through your body at that moment in time? Do you remember? I wish I had brought toilet paper. <laughs> 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 Shit. Anything no. <laughs> no. Out. I can, I, I can honestly <laughs> say I didn't let go of anything, but uh, I was scared. Yeah. I was really, really scared. Was there is there anything prior to that that compares to the feeling you felt that day? Um... When I crawled down a hole at the World Trade Center and I wasn't sure what I was going to be finding mm. and uh, found the first uh, piece of somebody. Oh, um, man. That was, uh, as I didn't know what to, you know, until you get to that point. So I can remember that whole thing and, and uh, yeah, just heavy breathing. I was uh, hyperventilating and stuff down there. And I was but that wasn't like a life or death type situation, was it? No, but I, it was a similar feeling. It was something yeah. that totally caught me off guard. Yeah. And, uh, so what I will tell you is that Bear is charging, and I've read some things up on Bears, that there's a false charge normally. Well, they slide, mm. they, they woof, mm -hmm. and then they'll basically take off, and they say, just get out of there. Well, at about 15 feet, it wasn't stopping, and I could see it was in slow motion. Stuff's being thrown behind it as it's digging in. At about 10 feet... I realized it wasn't stopping, so I, I fired the rifle right in its face, and it didn't do anything. It lunged up at me with its mouth open. All I had was the rifle. I didn't have time to rack another round. Um, I shoved the rifle forward. I was like a bayonet. It caught it somewhere in the jaw. Rifle came back and slammed me in the head, and it threw off um, the bear, I'm assuming, because it came at me like, <laughs> like Zeke coming through the line. It just lowered its head and just plowed right over me mm. knocking me down knocked the wind out of me i'm trying to catch my breath and then all of a sudden two huge paws but but 13 or 14 inch paws just came right down on my shoulders pinned me to the ground and then the first bite was to my face oh my gosh bro so it split my face from here tore a tennis <coughs> ball size hole in my throat yeah oh wow that's nuts, bro. Yeah, so that was just the first bite. And so it, my face exploded in blood. I couldn't see, but I felt the rush. Yep. And, uh, you know, being in the fire department for so long, I knew that that was bad. And so I felt the rush of blood. So I turned my chin to try and put pressure down. I'm not going to compress the mic here, but to, to put pressure on the hole in my neck, mm -hmm. um, which exposed the back of my head. And that's when the bear took the whole, my whole head in its mouth and started biting down. So did it pick you up at that point, or no, was it all on the ground? No, it's biting. It's basically I'm on the ground. It's it's got my whole head in its mouth, and it's biting down. So I'm feeling. I'm trying to feel what's going on. I'm feeling this huge bottle nose right here, with the obviously in my clamped on my head. And all I could think of was just to start hitting the nose. I hit it about four times, and then as quickly as it grabbed my head, it grabbed my arm bit right through my arm, lifted me up, did this violent head shake and threw me about 10 or 12 feet uh, away from the, uh, from where it's... By the one arm. Like by the one arm. By the one arm. Just yeah, it just hold, it hole punched it. It went all the, the jaws, yeah. the teeth came together. So it had a good lock yeah, on my yeah. arm and then it basically just launched me. Huh, the teeth came together? What do you mean? Well, think, think about it. Uh, oh, the teeth, top, top and bottom yeah. came together. So it's yeah. about a 50, and they interlo oh it's my about a 50, 50 cent piece hole. That's the Woo. first bite. The other one's here. So, so he had his mouth closed on your arm. Yeah, yeah completely just, closed, yeah, locked. Yeah. See the yeah, hole right there. The bottom. See, it's where it came through, and they're about the size of a quarter, I guess, at the base. Yeah. And so it locked onto my arm, lifted me up, stood up, did a violent head shake, and threw me. And that really hurt. So. I, I decided that the only thing I could do was to get on my belly, interlace my fingers over my C-spine, spread my legs out, and keep it from getting me back on my back. So you could still feel your arm at that moment in time? I remember everything. I could feel everything. Oh, my gosh, bro. So, I mean, what was next for the bear? Well, it came over when I was on my face, couldn't see interlaced like this, elbows spread out, legs spread out. It came over the top of me and I could hear it breathing over me. And it reached underneath my rib cage and tried to roll me. And then I got right back in position. 
Then it came right over the top of me and sunk its teeth down into my lat and picked me up off the ground. Oh, my gosh, And bro. then the final thing was it got over the top of my head when I got right back into position, and it felt like somebody hit me with a two-by-four. Um, it just, like, punched you? No, it, well, coming down on it, it sunk its claw at the top of my ear and raked down and completely degloved my scalp. Oh. Um, exposing my my spine. And so were you hollering and yelling at this oh, time? Oh, I was, I was screaming like a freaking girl. Uh, man, yeah. I bet it, bro. Yeah, my, 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 uh, my, not... my brother said that as he was trying to make his way to me, he said it, he says it wasn't human. The sound you yeah, made? It was, he said it was, sounded like a wounded animal. Oh my gosh, bro. Well, at that point, you pretty much are a wounded animal. Right, yeah. exactly. So what did your brother do to, to help? That's oh, we're, like, we're not the end. That went on for about another two minutes. Oh my gosh, bro. So basically, once it um, <laughs> degloved my scalp, so it's hanging off, that's when I, was, I went to the sitting position just trying to figure out where it was. My legs hadn't been bitten yet, so I was just going to kick it away if I had to. And then all of a sudden I heard another growl right at the back of my head and it attacked my head again and released my head and then I heard it coming around and so I gave it a couple of kicking into the dark and I, I struck it twice and then on the th about the third or fourth kick it bit down into my leg just below my knee and then that's when I heard my brother coming up and I heard his voice but at this point the bear is right in in between my brother and I and he's shooting a high-powered rifle so, so he, he can't, can't shoot the bear yeah so um, God gave him the courage to basically run up about four or five different times screaming at that bear until, mm -hmm. and he said every time it turned, he said the bear had my leg in his mouth, his whole head was covered with my blood. And then he would stop and then he'd back off and then finally he got close enough where the bear turned, dropped my leg, stood up and tried to bite him in the face. He shot it once and then in backing up as it was coming forward, he shot it in the chest. So uh, three different shots. It's still alive. He said it looked back at me, looked at him, and went to into an adjacent tree line and started thrashing around. And then at that point, uh, he came running up to me and said, we got to get out of here. This thing is still alive. And he said my only words were, um, I think I'm dying. Good gosh, bro. Like, so, first of all, what does it take to kill a bear? <laughs> a lot more than I brought. Uh, it took, yeah. That's three rifle shots. Yeah. One took, in the face, one in the neck, said, and one in the chest. 300, 300 wind mag, and I even um, um, reloaded all of them. It, 200 grain nozzler partition. I mean, these were big moose rounds, so. Bro, like, I'm still, I've heard this story, like, already. <laughs> and it just blew my mind again, bro. Yeah. Like, I couldn't imagine being in that okay. situation at that moment in time. That's like, not even the most exciting part. <laughs> so what, what, what was the exciting part? When, like When Jesus showed up. Yeah, so at what point did Jesus show up? Well, I'll tell you, when my brother was standing over the top of me, yelling at me, telling me what to do, telling me what to do, you're not going to die. That was one of the first miracles where instant clarity, after all of that instant clarity to fall back on what I had learned in the fire service. I had treated multiple trauma patients, mm. hundreds if not thousands I just never treated myself. And so mm -hmm. I came up with the idea. I got him in front of me because I was on all fours because the hole in my throat, if I leaned back, all the blood and everything oh. was going down into my lungs. So I was on all fours. Mm -hmm. And I said, get in front of me, and then I'll raise up, and you describe the injuries, mm -hmm. and then I'll show you what we need to do, or I'll figure out how we can do this. And so I raised up, and he said, oh, my God. That's what. That's not what you say to a patient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. that's, that's oh really not what you yeah. say. I heard that. I heard that twice. So he says you got a big old hole in your throat, and I said, so we were wearing these shemogs, which is kind of a special yeah. forces wrap. You know what yeah. one is. So Oof. I said, hand me one of those, and I spun it into a bandage and put it in his hand. I said, don't put pressure on both sides, because yeah. I'll just pass out, and you have to end up carrying me. So yeah. he was controlling the bleeding at my throat, and I said, keep talking to me. And I heard, oh my God, again. He says, well, you're. you're <laughs> scalp is hanging off and I said is it still attached he said yeah I said well flop it over and so hand me the other shemog and oh I was holding pressure on my head my brother was holding pressure on my throat 
this wasn't too bad. You're losing it, blood at a ridiculous rate. This, this wasn't too time, bad. Right? So right. it's just painful because my right. arm had a, like a waveform where it had clamped down on. But this was the key stuff. Yeah. Right. So when um, at that point, God gave me a vision of my family. Wow. Yeah. He gave me a vision of my wife, and he gave me a vision of my daughter, my son, both my sons. And my daughter stepped out. Well, prior to that, I audibly heard God say to me, Greg, you are my son. I love you, and I'm not done with you yet. Wow. And when you talk about what I had at eight years old, where dads leave, dads aren't to be really trusted and hold, held mm -hmm. at arm's length. Here I was completely whooped, let the bear get the drop on me. Yeah, and there was nothing but shame. I was just waiting to die, mm -hmm. and God shows up and says, "You're my son. I love you, and I'm not done with you yet." Mm -hmm. And then after that, He gave me the vision of my family, and uh, even to this day, it chokes me up because I can see it clear as day. My daughter stepping out, mm -hmm. holding out her arms, saying, "Daddy, if you're gonna come home to us, you gotta fight." Wow. Mm -hmm. So you had a family at this point. Mm -hmm. And that was really the only thing that kept that you was, alive. That was the only thing that kept me going because I it still wasn't, had, wasn't wasn't the firefighting wasn't no. wasn't the military wasn't the accomplishments. It was it was none of that stuff that I thought because I started holding the inventory. Okay, I'm dying. It's time to do the man card check. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, so now you got a two mile trek and a fourteen mile boat ride. Right. <laughs> and I, I will just tell you that was this a rowboat? No, it's a power book. Okay, but 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 <laughs> what I will Jeez. what I will tell you is what I realized in that moment is all I wanted to do was to make up for what I had been chasing and giving scraps to my family and to both my dad and the Lord. Yeah, because if Greg wasn't doing awesome things, Greg wasn't okay, and Greg wasn't lovable, and so. Jonah and I were talking about it. There's things that we want. Dads, the power that dads have mm -hmm. over their sons. Mm -hmm. When you want to accomplish, mm -hmm. when you want to do things to make them proud, and, and then you overshadow it with some brokenness and some pain and some hurt. Mm -hmm. Man, you get desperate for that. Yes. And so everybody paid for what Greg was accomplishing yeah. because I'd run back, all right, here's money, you guys good? Oh yeah, I can't make that game, I can't make that performance, mm. I gotta do these things. And I'll tell you what, in an instant, all that stuff meant nothing and yeah. I knew I had to survive to get back yeah. from and, my family. Yeah, and be more present yes, sir. for your family. Absolutely. Man, that's an incredible story and an incredible le lesson to be learned, right? Because as parents, I mean, we do everything we do for our kids, like to provide for our kids and, and make sure they're okay. Yes, so, you, you know, sometimes you get lost in all the work, right? Right, And, and uh, just making sure they're okay and, and tend to, you know, focus more on that than on them when the focus should be on them. Absolutely. Right, because they could probably care less yes. about that. And they just want sure. you to read a book to them or, mm -hmm. you know, to spend that. Present. Yeah, be present. Them. Engaged yeah. and present. That's like, exactly that's right. It. That's bro. it, man. That's incredible, bro. And I think, you, go ahead. You mentioned, you mentioned feeling, like the, feeling like the bear had got the drop on you and that you had there was a just, lot of shame. just I utterly failed. Yeah, and, and shame, failed. Yeah, was the word that you used. And, uh, you know, I think uh, most most people don't get uh, half eaten by a bear. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think like a lot of people. Be like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think a lot of people, like, uh, a lot of men, uh, hit a point where they feel uh, that they've hit that failure point, that mm -hmm. there's some shame, that there's something, you know, whatever. You know, with me, it was some issues with, with an ex-wife. Right. But. You know, you feel like you have hit that point where I'm just waiting to die. Mm -hmm. Like there's nothing, there's nothing else. And your you know? story is much greater than if you would have come back home with a bear. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, right, absolutely. Right. If you'd come, come back, back with a bear with pelt, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it was so much more impact from yeah. that experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The the healing mm -hmm. that helped mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. wove this whole thing together. Yeah. He gave me all the skills and the background to be able to address those things. Yeah. He gave me clarity of mind. He gave me exactly because he knows the very number of hairs on my head. Yeah. Yes. 
he knows what would drive me to surviving. Man, took you there. It took you all the way there. Hey. Yeah. That's nuts if it takes you there. think about Jonah, the Jonah. Yeah. Yeah. After that yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Jonah and the fish. Like yeah. <laughs> literally, near death experience. Absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, in the midst of all of that, working everything, well, ultimately for him to save his people. Yes. But yes, it was like those tra- tra- catastrophic type situations, it's hard to see how this is for my good. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But like it's very yeah. hard to see. Holy Absolutely. cow. That's, good that's, point. that's beautiful, bro. Yeah, bro. And good, I mean, and in that point. moment mm-hmm. for you to be able to recognize that it can't be you. Because mm-hmm. if it was you, I'd be like, hold on now. I'm about to mm-hmm. die. Like right. So there had to be something that stepped in and, and, and gave you the strength to walk two miles and boat 14 miles yeah. back. Like, that's a lot of time. It is. That's a lot of time. Like, we were talking about the Travis Scott concert. Mm-hmm. Right, and thirty minutes is a lot of time for a show to continue to go on when people are right. dying because dying exactly. in a in a situation, minutes. a crazy situation, thirty seconds in a boxing match, mm-hmm. <laughs> three yeah. minutes right. is a long time. I'm exhausted after three minutes. Yeah. You know what I'm breathe. saying? Hard to breathe. You know, you know what's and interesting? That's, that's is nuts, man. That I have found, and I'm the perfect example of a lot of times what not to do, and a thick headed, <laughs> and and trying to figure out things. But I came away with an understanding <laughs> that most men miss joy and purpose and real love and engagement of the heart mm-hmm. by about 18 inches. Yeah. And that's the distance between here, the brain, and the mm-hmm. heart. And a lot of men, you start talking about touchy-feely things or pressing into pain or finding that courage to talk about things that have look at you in the face that nobody else knows about Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you begin to engage the heart and realize that relationships yes need that heart they want to know who you are they want to know what you're feeling they want to know what you've been through and you begin to unpack that i gotta tell you it's i've done a couple things in my life Mm -hmm. but that was one of the most powerful things that i've ever when i realized that engagement of the heart is just as important as all my accomplishments or my current job or my hobbies or whatever, man, life just took on a whole different meaning. Yeah. And, I, and mm-hmm. that's why I go around and speak now. For sure. I, I, want, awesome. I want men to to not be afraid to, and I, I appreciate vulnerable. your transparency, Jonah, because you're talking about things that most most guys are just like, oh, that's off limits. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, can yeah. talk sports. We can talk whatever you want, but yeah. don't be asking me about my past Mm -hmm. or the things that that the shame that I live with and in other words they just basically want to keep them prison doors well I'll give you a plug so when Jonas brought me on education is painful (laughs) like I'm the one and I do this purposefully Mm -hmm. right whether I'm meeting someone new if I'm networking whatever it is I'm going to control that narrative. I'm going to ask all the questions because right. right. I don't want anybody knowing about my life or about me. Like, I don't, whatever. Right. Whatever. Stuff mm-hmm. is okay. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, on the show, like, we got kind of deep. And, like, I, it, it made me a little uncomfortable. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was like, hold on now. Yeah. But once I began to speak to the certain topics that we spoke about, I realized, like, there was some relief in there right. at the same time. Yeah, like there was, I felt, you know, that clarity you talk mm-hmm. about, like I just, I was like, hold on, what is this pressure that's being lifted off of me right now? We're just having a conversation. I talk to Jonas all the time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But to be able to, you know, get rid of this stuff and release these things that I haven't even thought about, that right. I didn't know were still in there, like oh, yeah. that was like a, like deflating a basketball or something. You know yeah, what I'm absolutely. saying? It's just like, Phew. It felt good. Yeah, it yeah. felt great. I, like the two biggest things that we fear to be really honest about is judgment yes. of people yeah. and rejection. Because mm-hmm. if everybody know everything about me, yeah, y- y- we're not gonna be friends. <laughs> <laughs> like, exactly. Like, no, not, exactly. Just not. It's like yeah. it's like you can't just blood throw it out there. Right. And then for us in particular, we are conquerors. We go and we get, and it's easy to brush that in the rug, like and just keep going. Yeah, exactly. and move on to the next thing. But. Yep. I love, like, the thing for me that's opened up the ability to express and be pretty on- mm-hmm. as honest as I can possibly be about who I am, my life experience, and what actually sucks about me is mm-hmm. understanding that I've already been judged by my mm-hmm. father. Yes. And he said, accept it. Yes. Exactly. Amen. I- 
I, both are clear. I'm, I'm accepted. <laughs> yes. I'm accepted, and I, judgment has happened, and it happened at the cross. Yes, and, right. And over time, hearing that message freed me to be real about myself. Yes. To anybody, and it also creates uh, relationships that are very real because a lot of people are afraid to speak about a lot of uh, stuff. So yeah. when you lead off with, well. <laughs> I'm terrible mm -hmm. at this, that, and that. It was like, dang, me too. Right. <laughs> like, damn, yes. I like, relate me like too. Like, I feel yeah. that. But that's not always the case. Yeah. But I'm grateful for the fact that, you know, I was able to hear the gospel and it impacted me in that regard. It secured me in that regard to where I can be honest about, you know, yeah, this is what yeah. I'm not good at. And yeah. This is, you know, her stuff that I am good at. But even over there, Self-righteousness creeps in. Yeah, so in right. all my accomplishments exactly. and getting and all this stuff, like I, I still feel better than other people. Yes. But ultimately being able to just see that and know that even whether it's self-righteousness mm -hmm. or is, you know, my list, my licentious side, mm -hmm. I'm accepted, accepted and I've already been judged. Yeah. That's and awesome. the, the, the verdict is not guilty yeah. because of what Christ did. And now that puts you but in a completely that, different seat. Now, now you're just watching oh, people do what no, yeah, you heart, recognize you're connecting. people. Yeah. 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 I can see your well pain. I can see your frustration. Mm -hmm. I, can, I understand this. I understand that. Or right? I can see your judgment. Yeah. Or I can see your... Uh, I can see the judgment too. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Definitely see the judgment. It, it Especially you today. A, yeah. We're in council, country, council culture. Yeah. And so I see the, the hypocrisy. Yeah. <laughs> like clearly, clearly. Like Man. Clearly. So, yes. Well, thank you for that. Because you articulated that way better. <laughs> and see, I'm listening bro, and learning right now. Yeah. See, yeah, see he got that side that people don't even know, man. Like, I, I love that. that. I love that. that. I love yeah. that. I love there's, that. There's something really important about people who are, who especially have the outward appearance mm -hmm. of success or mm -hmm. have the outward appearance of being the tough guy, being willing to share, a, you know, a vulnerable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. Because because there's so many people who who look up to you who right. look at you and and see yeah but yeah but like okay, really you got it all together yeah right exactly so, the symbol of strength and right right yeah and no, so we're the so same. you it would be easy it would be easy for Greg Matthews to turn around and say well, I, I survived a bear attack yeah, yeah. What, did you, what did you do what did you 1, do like, uh, yeah. nothing like as nothing opposed as opposed yeah. to to using that as a you know which is Undoubtedly, an attention getter, right? <laughs> uh, as a platform to say, this is how bad I had gotten. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, even though it looked good from the outside, like this is where I was inside, exactly. mm -hmm. and this terrible thing that, that happened to me that I got through. You know, not because I was yeah, so yeah, awesome, I was so special, and, but because I had been prepared, and I had, and, and you know, and I had a brother that was there, a relationship right. that was there, right? D that story is of redemption and yeah. yes, recovery sir. and yeah. not absolutely yeah yes. and not you know look how awesome i was yeah for, for beating up a bear. right exactly. yeah exactly. yeah well, the one thing that um although you. that would be a good story thank you Indeed. for that it, and like, it's uh Indeed. when you talk about i encapsulate what you said is grace Indeed. Mm -hmm. allowing well, that allowing mm -hmm. that grace to come in mm -hmm. um what i will tell you is my only motivation now is to get in front of men, even if it's just one on one. Mm -hmm. We just started a men's group in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They don't even know the story right. yet. I'm holding off on it. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's that's cool. but, but what I'll tell you is I try and muster up 60 seconds of courage. And that's what right. I tell men. If there's another man sitting, who you a lot of times you got to be you got to have some respect levels mm -hmm. and all that other stuff you know you just can't have some nut job coming up and telling you all this stuff but <laughs> when, once there's yeah. a, some relationship right. yep. and you're able to share something in transparency yep. and you're able to, to be vulnerable and say look not proud of it but this is what happened to me this is how I'm broken this is mm. what I've dealt with this is all of that that 60 seconds of courage that that I show and I hate it I mm -hmm. honestly hate it because it sheds light on something that I was conditioned to right if bad stuff's going on Greg's not lovable and Greg's <laughs> right. no good and all this stuff but what I would tell you is what I'm looking for is it to spur the 60 seconds of courage in you yeah or you where you're mm -hmm. like, you know what? I have not had this opportunity, and this has been on my chest, and nobody knows about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let me tell you this. And then 60 seconds later, they're talking about it, 
And what they've successfully done is pressed into the pain mm -hmm. and actually come out the other side instead of everybody just bouncing off of it and avoiding it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, yeah no, Embarian. that's. Embarian. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> cementing, right. cementing layers and layers, <laughs> building up the building up that wall, building up those defenses. Yeah. Like we were talking, we were talking about before of a, I have a hell the show. Of a wall. We were talking about uh, going to. I went to uh, Normandy mm. and saw that like where the Germans had built these massive defenses. And I'm, when I say massive, I'm talking concrete that's you know feet thick. Yeah. You know, and that's what we do is we we build up these Walls. mass massive defenses around ourselves to keep people out. To keep Absolutely, our, keep people from seeing. Oh, for the sure. parts of us yeah, that we don't want them to see. Yeah, especially. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. especially if you're a good athlete. Yeah. Like, what? Right. No, look at that. Minecraft, right? Look what I did. <laughs> look what I built. Yeah, yeah. that house no, is one thousand humongous. humongous. Absolutely. No. Absolutely. No. Absolutely. Don't let me forget. I have something I want to share with you. I don't want to run out yeah. of time. Yeah, so no. We, you know. we okay. got plenty of time. We still okay. haven't it's even. This is like the hardest good. transition I ever had in my life. <laughs> well, you know I was wondering how the Grizzly attack tied in the sports. sports because because we're going like, to talk about the Memphis Grizzlies. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Chicago Bears. You know what I mean? That's all we're going to tie in. It's all in there. Is there one called the Scaredy Cat? Hey, no, man. We can create it. I can relate to that too. I've seen some teams that played like that. Bro. I that seen some be, teams that it, uh, the the Brooklyn Nets last all night. All people everywhere. The cats last night. That's uh, everybody. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, core. for sure. So, scary so little no, kids. man, like this is such an incredible story. I just it had is. to bring you on, bro. It it thank you, bro. And, and this show really it's about um, relating to one another, right? And yes, and and you know, I like I've said several times. Uh, one of the main reasons that I wanted to you know start a podcast was because that transition from sports. Yeah. To the business world yeah. and that that vulnerable space in between, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right, where it's like you're lost. You don't know who you are. You're lost of identity, right? So, I mean, it's not the same, but it's the, just the vulnerability. Coming on and being able to tell your story, bro, is what this is about. And I, I appreciate mm -hmm. you so much because that, that story, when we talked about it this summer, like, impacted me. And I don't mm -hmm. know if I don't – I'm not one to just express my emotions very right. much, but that blew my mind, dog. I mean <laughs> – <laughs> I digress. It was, it was, I'm so angry. That's A. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, well, yeah. I mean, it's okay to be angry if you're nah, yeah. Right? Yeah. like like yeah. Ven yeah. vengeful and angry. Is, that's totally man. Yeah, but you know, we're cool. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I, got you. I don't I don't show that vulnerable side very often. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know, just like I said, I appreciate you coming on and telling your story. I thought that was a story that everybody needs to hear. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're building an yeah. audience. You know, I don't know how many people that were impacted or heard it today, but we're going to get it out, and they need yeah, to hear yeah. it. I know that much. How yeah. much does the Lord value just one person? Exactly, exactly. I mean, if, exactly. It, if it touches somebody and, and mm. changes their life for a positive and impacts their family and – in a positive way, I'm all good. I'll show up all day. Yeah, <laughs> right on. Yeah. It's, a, it's an honor to be here. Yeah, I appreciate, appreciate that, bro. You, man. Definitely yeah, great. appreciate you. I hope y'all enjoyed that story because that mad boy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Renee, you, you enjoyed that one right there? Sitting next to <laughs> That was. <laughs> That was like I ain't never been attacked yeah. by a band. That one, that's one of those. Uh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> as long as I got some binoculars, yeah. I'm a good 200 yards away. I'm good. Oh, oh no. Nah. Get off in a boat. <laughs> oh no, no. How was he getting there? If y'all, we we gonna get you on the Starlink. That way you can stream. <laughs> you can stream what's going on. <laughs> there you go. You know, watch that. That's how I'm gonna be present. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Almost yeah. like that's you're there. I was just thinking about. Wait. Yeah. Yes. I was I just imagining, you know, because this morning I, I did my run and it was it was like I was out on the trail. Yeah, it was. There, and it was like it's out there. He was yeah. out there, and it's dark. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. those hogs are mean out there. Yeah, there's hogs out. Yeah, so you imagine out there. Oh, yeah, talking yeah, about boars. the oh, the, the boars that are eating people in Texas or something, no. right? I seen the video. This is what <laughs> like, I would do: fly on the helicopter. Oh, with that oh, yeah. big ass gun <laughs> and shoot. A pig hunts now. Whatever, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. So when From I was in the front of sales back, I'm like cool with that. Six years ago, <laughs> I had a agent does that. No, oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, I had a, one I'm of down, the, I'm down. One of the companies that I was really close to, bro, invited me to go <laughs> do that down in Austin. They go hog hunting from the helicopter. Oh, that's, yeah. I would do that. And that that's, so that's about I it. I just never, I never did it. Yep, no, I never did it. Nowhere where you can like actually reach me. Yeah, kind of like, like nah. how do you kill such little hogs? <laughs> you just don't lead them as far. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> 
<laughs> right on, yeah. man. Right That's on. So good. I hope y'all enjoyed that, man. I, I hope y'all enjoyed okay. that right there. Uh, now it's time. Hey, in case you haven't seen the show, I'm sure you have. Right? I watched a few before I came yeah, on. Yeah, man. It's so we idea. are new to sports and technology. So we're going to transition to the sports side of things. I know your favorite topics. Jonas's favorite topic. <laughs> Me and Mark, not so much. We, you know, we like that technology stuff. Yeah, right? you're but right. We'll go ahead and slide this in here. Um, got the jersey on. How about those Cowboys? You watch the Cowboys play this weekend? I did. Oh, man. Did you watch the whole game? Dominant. You did? You start cooking or, you know, reading or something? Yeah, I understood. After I the did. first quarter. Oh, my <laughs> gosh, bro. It was 28-3. to three. It was like, hold on. Mm. Where was this team last week? Yeah. Matter of fact, I don't even care. I'm going to be here this week. Man, dominant. Right dominant. back to right, right back Most to what we were prior to the Denver Whatever game. they put in the Gatorade this week, right? Yes, sir. Exactly. They keep, they hey, keep doing uh, that. What do you say? He put in um, a, a little monkey butt. Is what is what they <laughs> did. <laughs> Not what they did. They you know, went a little monkey butt, butt bro. Okay. What they called okay. it? You know, okay. a little. Little red asses a week for the squad, you know, got on them real, a little, little tough little love. monkey cheek, yeah. little monkey cheek kids, <laughs> okay. Red bottom boys, monkey. and we ain't talking about the Christian yeah. Louboutins, <laughs> right? Uh, okay. So, you know, the we Cowboys came week. out, balled out, bro. Yep. Right, Dak, you know, he's the guy that he showed up again. He did. He was back. Yeah. Now, he, you know, that was a good tune-up. Yeah. For what is seemingly to, seemingly, yeah. uh, to be a resurging yes. Kansas City Chiefs squad. Hey, it's going to be a I'm great game this weekend. This game. Mm. It is going to be a great game this weekend. Man. And, uh, you know, I'm, yeah. I, I will say this. I trust our defense right now yeah. more than I trust their defense. And that's uh, the only thing I can really I can, I agree. because I feel like our offenses, I, I think agree. Dallas Cowboys offense may be a little more powerful. Yeah. Like, yeah. quite honestly, from yeah. a skill. They can control the game, I think. The play callers on Kansas City side might be better. Might <laughs> be better. But I feel that. Athlete, athlete, man to man on paper, nobody can. There's nobody in the league that we can say is better than the Cowboys. No, not on outright. Paper. No, not outright. Like just period. Not outright. No. Yeah, on not offense, I'm talking. Right? Exactly. Not, out, not outright. They're just better. No, there's yeah. nobody there's, in the NFL that's just better. We got, we've got all. a lot of power on that side of the football, and mm-hmm. uh, it's fun to watch. It is right. It uh, is. Zeke and, and Pollard, like. They don't, Zeke only had what fourteen carries. Paul only had eleven carries in this game. Like they, it was that's twenty five carries. That's what we need. Yeah, I think Dak threw the ball thirty times, thirty one yep. times. It's great, great balance right there. It's great. And I didn't even know we had a guy from the Eagles on our team, Clement, the <laughs> running back. Yeah. Oh, I had yeah. no Super idea who was champion. on our squad. Yeah, Super Bowl champion. Yeah. Like, yeah. Got like wait, what? Yeah. 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 It's yeah, good man. to have that presence. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. that presence in the locker room. Some ring things. Somebody who understands some ring things. He's been there. He knows yeah. what it takes, right? We got a yeah. coach and a player that knows what it takes, right? You do. So, you do. Hey, man, that was uh, Atlanta, man, just looked really bad. They looked really bad. Um, they did. They digre- They took a step back. Yeah. Uh, uh, they, they were missing some guys. Calvin Ridley was out. Doesn't matter. Um, they were winning without him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean they they were kind of in a little like a little win. I mean they, they were feeling good, like yeah. they had just come off uh, what two wins in a row. I want to yeah, say, right. you know, when you start yeah. locker rooms good. Yeah. Like we got a chance to go in Dallas and compete. Yep, potentially win. <laughs> no, you got smacked like <laughs> the Rock. Man. Not at all. Yeah, the, 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 mm. the Rock smacked them right there, bro. Yeah. Like the Cowboys just went hard right there. Yeah, so did. that was a that was a great showing by my Cowboys. Diggs, well, number eight, man. You that know. was the dumbest. I mean that that I think that play spoke to is it, their season. Yeah, literally. Yeah, great call. Get the guy wide open. Ran down the sideline like this. <laughs> like, hello, <laughs> I'm over here. No, I'm gonna throw it to the cover guy who's actually <laughs> fairly open. He was actually fairly open if yeah. he led him to the sideline. Yeah, where he was going. But no, he threw it high and behind. Yep. And gave Diggs a nice little number eight. Number like, eight. Thank right you. There. Thanks, number bro. Eight. Appreciate yeah. it. Yep. But hey, and look, Anthony Brown's interception was pretty impressive. That was though. impressive. That one handed tip, tip drill to himself. Yeah, that, that was, was impressive. Cool. That and was of impressive. course, you know, it's hard to talk about the defense without talking about Michael Parsons, who is just dominant right defensive now. Defensive rookie of the year. You think he might be this defensive player of the year as well? Is there a chance? He's he in the be running. Both? He's not. Aaron Donald is still that. Aaron Donald, he's still doing that? Yeah, tackles for a loss. So they have, even they got, they got beat pretty good. Yeah. But a lot of it had to do with offense not clicking and yeah. putting their offense in position to score fairly easy and they had pick six. Yeah. It, their offense is not on, on whatever. But Aaron Donald? Yeah. Always. Disrupt. Game. Every, like, crazy. Every, like, he's always disrupting. We'll, like, always. We'll, we'll get to the Rams no, we'll here get, in a right, second. Right, right. We'll get to the Rams. I, I understand. You know, we're not, but I'm yes, not, I can't let you he's, he's in the defensive 
MVP, <laughs> overall defensive MVP running. I can't let you skip no, what yeah, happened. Yeah, there was also a jump to the heart of this. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, all right, so, so hey, I, I guess everybody has one of these games. And last week was just a weird week. I mean, Sunday well, was weird. Thursday yeah, was well, weird. Yeah. Thursday was right. bad. So, <laughs> it wasn't even weird. It was just bad. So, what happened, and, and you broke it down. Yeah. Like, real quick before yeah. we started, right? So, what happened to the Ravens to where Lamar just looked – and is this one of those situations where teams are going to start to They're gonna mimic try. what of course. Miami did Absolutely. to stop Lamar Jackson? Because Miami, look, a lot of people lost, Vegas lost money on Thursday night. Oh, oh Miami sure. winning Big that time. game 22 to 10. 22 to 10. Lamar looked like San Diego Charger playoff game, Lamar. Oh, mm-hmm. man. Like, I, throw that, like, under, throw it low. Like, it was, and then he didn't get help when mm-hmm. he did make a, Nice throw. Yep. And some of the scheme plays just wasn't executed properly. Yeah. Cover zero was what Miami was running. A mm-hmm. cover zero defense means it is the riskiest defense that you could ever play in yeah. NFL. It's like, you know, betting all your money on penny stocks. Yeah. Mm. Cover zero. <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Yeah. If somebody misses one tackle, essentially, that's a home run. Wide open. Yeah. Yeah. You're gone. There's yeah. no safety. We're just, we're all out. We're going to make you make decisions under extreme pressure. Yeah. Not regular pressure, extreme pressure. We're going to line them up on the line of scrimmage. I mean, it takes no time. You're going to block six, we're sending seven. Yeah. You're going to block seven, we're sending eight. Mm-hmm. Somebody's free every wow. fucking yeah, time. Like, yeah, somebody, we know. And, and that's what they did the entire game. And that's what they did 90% of the time. Yeah. Wow. And so that's, that's hard. So I mean, Pittsburgh, hard. right? He's played Pittsburgh already this year, right? Yeah. They, did they oh, not go cover zero on them? No, we haven't. We haven't. But Pittsburgh is not a cover zero team. They they, bl- they have a, a they have tremendous that, like, two down lineman, blitz like, scheme. Yeah. And they try to confuse you. Yeah. But – they're not a cover zero team. They don't just line up at the line of scrimmage. Everybody flat on the line of scrimmage. They confuse you up, ready up to front. Go. They confuse. They move trying around. Trying to make you guess and see who's exactly who's coming. They try to mix up your block. This guy's coming. No, he's not coming. That guy's actually coming. Yeah, that's what mm. that's what Pittsburgh does. Yeah. And they're great at it, obviously. Yeah, but uh, no, <laughs> Miami and Brian Flores. You know, he brought that from New England. I had New, no idea Brian Flores England, came from New England. He came from New England. Wow. And when he was in New England, they ran that defense when they were the top defense in the NFL. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and, and so ultimately what happened was they got in their face. They were like, look, we're just, we're just going out. What do we got to lose? Yeah. What What did Miami have to lose? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Right. Right. So was that their second We're giving it everything we got. Was that? Was I think it that third? was the third winner of the season. Yeah, third. I think That's it was. That's crazy. Three and five or three and, three and five. Yeah. yeah. Nothing to lose. Cover zero. We're just gonna put the pressure on to see what they how they handle it. Mm-hmm. And as the game went on, they saw they couldn't handle it. So yeah. we're stick we're sticking with yep. don't, it. Ain't broke. We ain't don't fix, don't it. fix it. Yep. Sure enough, that's what it was. Wow. And I just knew they were gonna come out and make a second half adjustment, right? And do you, I know that that I just yeah exactly I did. But what happened was continued lack of execution of mm-hmm. the adjustments mm-hmm. that was made. Yeah. A drop here. A, the throw was a little wide. Like. Converting on third down was a little tough. We missed the screen. Somebody just missed so the block. So when you had your chances, when you, had you didn't your take chances, advantage of it, basically. You, you exactly. Yeah. That's us. Yeah. And and uh, Baker, linebacker, he's really fast. Yeah. And so when you're scheming up these plays, a lot of times you're not <laughs> anticipating the linebacker that's walked up in the A gaps, B gap maybe, mm-hmm. to contact, yeah. come out and run to the sideline and beat. And he's got the speed to do it. That's, to beat the running back. Beat the running back to the sideline. Right. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Like, yeah. that was very, that's so that speed, the, So, <laughs> it is. So, the speed of that defense, the aggressiveness of that defense, yeah. totally dominated that game. Yeah. And then, off, uh, defensively for the Ravens, even special teams, like, just a tuck, just a tuck missed the field goal. And at that, I was like, well, That's okay. unheard of. Yeah, that's just okay. not your game. That's here we not go. your day. Here we go. And that was first quarter. I was like, okay, here, yeah. here we go. <laughs> Averett, <laughs> a- a- uh, you know, he he blew two coverages. Yeah, two coverages, and they were the two big plays that led to essentially their touchdowns. Yeah, uh, and I mean, it was just an off. It was just an off, off game night. for the Ravens. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. you know, Thursday like night that. football is the most yeah. unpredictable like night every week. It really is uh, unpredictable game. It has been, uh, yeah. And it's just because you, you never know who's injured. You never know how these guys really feel after yeah. playing on Sunday or Monday Short and then week. coming like right back three, four days later. Short, oh yeah. yeah. Like football's a rough game to come back from four days later. Four right? days later. Yeah. Yeah, you get right? one day of practice essentially. Yeah, that like, is that's insane, man. One yeah. one day of preparation. One solid like, day of practice. That's that's insane, yeah. bro. And then yeah. uh 
didn't expect so, the 49ers either to come out. Uh, what were you about to uh, say? No, no, I'm saying so it's tough. You're correct. Yeah, yeah. But yeah so didn't oh, expect Niners. the 49ers to come yeah. out and dominate the Rams that way. You know, no. Von Miller, OBJ, all yeah. this, you Star know, shine, you know, LA. Ooh, with the bling, yeah, bling. Yeah. bling. We got a new Lamborghini in the they, building. They forgot you know about the saying? game. Right. <laughs> you got to play the you game. You got to play the game, man. You got to play the game, You got to stop man. the run. <laughs> yes. And I mean, this is what, three losses in a row for the Rams right now? Three bad, bad too. <laughs> yeah, two bad. But yeah, three losses. Yeah, three losses straight. And the Rams, like yeah. this, is a team that a lot of people, not just you, no, predicted yeah, to be. Uh, yeah, I know definitely they have a championship team. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. NFC championship. But yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah. So do you feel that OBJ makes him a better squad? I feel OBJ because I know what Charles Woods got hurt. Yeah, that like that's crazy um, that that happens. Um, better, no, but as explosive yes yeah that's it yeah um but what they have they are going to have to run the ball better mm -hmm. like they was doing in the beginning of the season yep and matt is going to have to be a little bit more careful with the ball like you yeah know, he's getting downfield happy but i mean his interceptions have been under pressure yeah which is fine but i think you you decrease that pressure by running the ball, which is yeah. what they started off doing. I mean, that's what took them to the Super Bowl. Running the ball, yeah, running. When they ran the and football. And then everything was play, off, play pass off that. They because ran it was hard straight. to stop the run, and you play pass off that. That year they beat the Cowboys in the playoffs. The, they yeah. ran through the they Cowboys. They ran through the Cowboys. Really, yep. And right. they brought uh, your boy Sonny off Michelle. the street. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 30 uh, or th I can't yeah. think of his name. I can't think of his name. But they brought but, him off the street. Yeah, he was like a bowling ball. We couldn't stop him. Couldn't stop him. He was like, what like one twenty. Yeah, yeah, bro. So. But the Rams, yeah, no, they got to get back to that. That was shocking. And another New England Patriot in Tennessee, <sighs> right? The head coach for Tennessee. Oh, Vrabel. Yeah, Vrabel. My, yeah. yeah Same, Mike Vrabel. Their like, mentality's solid, bro. And it's odd because you know they they lost. You know, probably the MVP would have been MVP yeah. of the league right. in Derrick Henry. Indeed. Like that guy's a. Everybody knows he's like an unstoppable force. He's out for what six weeks, something like six, that. Yeah. So that's yeah, a blessing. That he's not out for the season. Indeed. Yeah. And then they was able to pick up an Adrian AP. Peterson. Yep. Yeah. Did you play with a, Adrian Peterson? Yeah, he was Adrian was a freshman when I was a senior. That's crazy. Like, this was mm -hmm. one of the freakiest person people I've ever watched do anything yeah. in my life. Like this. So when you heard he signed with the Titans, what was your thought? When you, um, did you think he was gonna be capable of coming in and doing something? You like, absolutely. I I think back to his first like practice. <laughs> it was just like oh okay. He doesn't belong here. Like, yeah. this guy does not belong out here. Out of high school? Out of high school. Like, this guy <laughs> belongs there, like, now. <laughs> already. <laughs> He's already. This is a grown ass man. Yeah. Right now. Like, right now. It's Literally. 18 years old. 18. He don't belong here. That is no, that crazy. That guy belongs bro. over there. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. But so, to hear that was just like, of course. Yeah. Did. yeah. Oh. That's all he, like, he, this is how he programs all he, I was like, and bro. I can't lie, bro. Like, Nobody will believe me if you know when I tell you this, but as soon as I heard Derrick Henry got hurt, I was like, they're gonna go you sign Adrian about Peterson. That. Yeah, because I was thinking about another explosive that. physical running back. Yeah, that's like, and he was yeah. like the only other person. Yeah, that could even come close to what they were doing. Yeah, yeah, you no, know what I'm saying? That's... Like, and I know he's like he, he's older, and he's older. Was he 37, 38 now? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like that's he, old in football. That's years. old in Man, running back years. Running back, that is, that is ancient. Like, right. Yeah. <laughs> that's like <laughs> running back years. Bro. Yes, uh, that like is ancient, up, my brother. Bro, but yep. you know, he's a that's that yeah. is a once in a generation player right there. Yes, to be able to come in and do what he's doing. But yep. you know, again, that defense that the that Titans defense, are rolling bro. out there, man. They ball like they, they don't the give mix. up many points. Yep. Right. They don't. They they're gonna sustain what they got to do. Until he comes back, and I, they're in the mix. Kudos to the Saints quarterback, um, si Sim, Trevor Simeon. Trevor Simeon. Simeon, bro, stepping in. Like I can't believe Denver let him go. Real vet, right? Yeah. I can't believe Denver let him go because he was pretty good for those guys. Yep. Pretty and good. he's doing again what you know, jumping in for Jameis Winston. Yep. And he's with a, with able to keep, the, keep things rolling, right? Coordinator, a great offensive mind, a great quarterback coach, a great you know. Oh yeah. Kind of. Psychologists of quarterbacks, mm -hmm. like I mean that. I mean he, he he's in an amazing situation to be honest. Oh yeah, and that guy should be here with the Cowboys, but y'all you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. need know. him. That's a, that's, a, that's a former <laughs> Cowboy. You're rich, you know? trying to get yeah, richer. We're, yeah, we're no, doing, but, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, y'all need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be great. That'd be great. Right? So, Relax. <laughs> you know, then uh, yeah, the, the Raiders, man. It's like it's sad. They um they had a ton of 
ton of expectations, right, after the first few games of the Indeed. season. Um, mm-hmm. And just they're just going crashing down, bro. And I, you can't even blame them for the regression they've taken, right? They – uh, they lost 41-14 to to the Chiefs. That is starting, you know, they're, they're like opposite paths right now. The Chiefs started out way down here. Yep. Nobody expected. The Raiders yep. started out way up here. Nobody expected. And they yep. kind of just, you know, switched roles whatnot. But mm-hmm. the Raiders have just had some very unfortunate situations to take place. And, like, as a team, it's hard for you to focus on the field when you have so much off-the-field distractions affecting your coach and, like, mm-hmm. one of your top receivers. Like, this, this that kind of stuff. Like that hurts the locker room. That hurts the dynamic, bro. Like it's hard it to matters. it's hard to hard to turn. You can't turn it on and turn it off in the NFL. No doubt, right? It's so it's, um, it's rhythmic. That's unfortunate. The Chiefs. I mean, we already kind of discussed it a little bit. They're starting to pick up what they're doing. Patrick yeah. Mahomes is yeah. he's doing what he's yeah. doing again, right? I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's it was the first time I seen them. You know, make some throws, just dime through dime balls. Yeah, like I hadn't seen them throw a dime ball. Meaning. Uh, Hitting the receiver on the run, mm-hmm. in stride, right where he's supposed to be. Yeah, like I had, like he hasn't been doing that all year. Yeah, this game he did it a handful of times. It was just like, oh, okay. Now if they're scheming up plays and he's able, they're executing plays like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, but I mean, offense, hold because on. their defense is. This is when it matters. This is uh, right? well. At yeah, we're the getting halfway there. Halfway point of the season. We're getting there. We're getting there. You know, like we're getting you know, there. End of November, December. We're like getting there. those are the games that matter. That's when you can really start to know who you are as a team. No, exactly. Right. Those exactly. first couple months. I mean, especially You're figuring with no, it out. Everybody's yeah. figuring it out. And they shortened preseason. Like a mm-hmm. lot of the guys weren't even really going in preseason, so you really right. can't even really count the first four games of the season. Yeah, that's all warm up. Yeah. So you know, now we're starting to realize who these guys are, and it's crazy. Mm-hmm. That uh, you know, it, it's just nobody's used to seeing Kansas City struggle for the past couple of years since Pat Mahomes was taken. Sure, really, since Andy <laughs> Reid's been there. To be yeah, honest. you're right. Because like, Alex Smith was, was they were still in the playoff. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Kansas yeah. City has been good consistently. Yep, yep. You're yep. right. But this weekend, man, looking forward to it. Well, here we on, go on the 21st, man. Showdown, <laughs> baby. The Dallas Cowboys versus the Dallas Texans. I mean, okay. the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, <laughs> at Arrowhead, <laughs> in Arrowhead, at Arrowhead, one of the craziest environments to play in. So that's yeah. gonna be a great game, man. Looking forward to that one. Great sure. game. Um, I'm back. I'm back. Cam. Yeah, <laughs> that was you know that, I, I that was, was happy to see was Cam back on the field. Right. Yeah, I was, I'm happy for him. Yeah, that he's getting to play, do what he loves to do. Like, oh yeah. Period. Oh yeah. They yeah, said that's that awesome. He's the first quarterback in 30 years mm-hmm. to throw for a touchdown on his first play. And run for a touchdown on his first run, whoa! Of a season, that's what he did Sunday. They were he's both in on goal line situations. Yeah, and they brought him in yep. a certain package. Yeah, he executed, but he's the first one in thirty years to be able to. I don't know who the last one was, but that's pretty cool. I'm happy to see him yeah. back. I think he's not. Like, uh, yeah, a scenario that presents itself. Yeah, like consi- like often for sure, either, but, for sure. I mean, Lamar might be able to start a game like that. We yeah, have break kick, for get one, a kickoff return, maybe throw, for one. And throw one. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and break for one. Hit Hollywood yeah. on something special, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, that's a, that's still, yeah, kudos. But that's great fantasy points, dog. Great. That's some <laughs> yeah, they picked him up. That's love. Yeah. One. Like, quick. Like, hold, two plays? Yeah. What? Hold on now. Yeah. He would have scored more than Aaron Rodgers did and, and Russell uh, Wilson did this weekend for me. Like, wow. those guys tank, bro. Like, Russell yeah. had a horrible game. We didn't even bring that up. Yeah, that was defense. Yeah. Them, them defenses was playing, man. Yeah, bro. Them guys so, was balling in that game. Yeah, so it, if I had to ask you. Yep, midseason. Who are your midseason? Who's your top five in the <laughs> NFL right now? Your top five Ooh. clubs, top five football teams, and how would you rank them? In all of the NFL. All the NFL. And, you know, hey, Matt Jones got those Patriots looking really dynamic right now, you know. Yeah, they they are they are they are. Um, I'm still gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Dallas at number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, just they just well rounded. Yeah, dominant. Hey, we see that great, fandom coming coaching. back out of you now. We see it coming yeah, back out. I know it's been uh, tough down for is, since '97, '95. Hey, man, this guy, look, <laughs> no, I got Dallas one. I got. Oh, so it, I got I got Green Bay too. Yeah, actually, because I like I love I love Aaron. I always love Aaron, yeah. and their defense is is their defense is balling. 
Uh, and I think they have enough on offense to obviously. And then there's Aaron. Mm-hmm. Um, then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Tennessee. Yeah, because they're really tough. They're just t- they're a tough out. They're a tough team. Yes. They're just they're grimy. They fight. And they're, they're nasty. They're nasty. They're yeah. nasty. Um, so that's my three. <laughs> then I go. Um, I Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, even after the L, to yeah. you know. Taylor Heineke. I think they're bored right now. <laughs> and the watch, they're hitting that kind of. Uh, yeah. You're good. I mean, they they can take one or two. Um, no, but I still got I, I I still got Tampa Bay in there. They yep. have four. Yeah. And then my five will be. My five will be. I have to go. Buffalo. I'm Buffalo. Gonna, I'm gonna put Buffalo at five above Ooh. Arizona. I just I thought there was gonna be another B that came out of your mouth, mm-hmm. right? I thought you were gonna say Baltimore, not nah, you know because mm, I mean nah, they they're right on the outside. Yeah, you think so? Right of the top five. Yeah, right now. Yeah, right on the outside. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. And if you had a top five, Jonas, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> right what we got? Let's just throw well, them out there. I mean, I actually would put put Baltimore in in top five because I mean they've had some bad moments, but. Mm-hmm. Like you, that's that's uh, that's a that's a team that's a that's a club that you don't want to count out too early, just in general. No, yeah. you're not counting them out. It's not top. Like they're going to be there right now. Right now. Yeah. Right. They're not top up right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying like right now. But yeah, I, I would have yeah. I would have kept them in there. Um, I would have too, Jonas. Probably 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 in five, but mm-hmm. yeah, five, five. Would, okay, yeah. yeah. I, I got them right. In there. Yeah, I, I, you know, <laughs> Cowboys are not the Cowboys we saw last year. That's for sure. Yeah, they they were, um, they weren't sniffing ten. They were not sniffing no. ten. They're still living in the shadows, though, of some jacked up be. calls yeah. that took them right out. Oh yeah, we talking cool. about that. Nobody ever talked no about catch? that. Yeah, no, I'm uh, talking about. Oh, we talking oh, about it on the commercial? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> because nobody talks about that. But I. That's a I, was, I was told when I moved here that I was a Dallas Cowboy fan, and yeah. I, I bought into that. That was a catch. And then I seen some. It wasn't their fault, but they live almost like in the shadow of just getting some really yeah, messed man. up calls. Yeah, I think I think Goodell got something against Jerry, and that's all. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. That's why it wasn't a catch in Green Bay, but they won't say oh, it. But man. I will. That's what it was. Yeah, I will. That was a catch. <laughs> So I, and I, I broke know. a whole squad okay. for like four years. Right. Oh my gosh! I'm, I'm going in the booth now, like in reverse, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, you started five. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, so but I would, I would put Baltimore. So I guess I'm not going reverse. I'm going outside in. Yeah, <laughs> no, because I think Cow- Cowboys is, could be could be a one or two right now. Yeah, like you said. for sure. Um, you know, I, I think uh, I think you're right. The Titans is, are, are just badass this year. Yeah. Pretty. Um, I'm going to throw the Panthers in there. Oh, the Panthers? Yeah. Why? Wow. Not not because of their past performance up to now. Well, I mean it is, but like we've seen them come away from some some places where they should have taken an L and they didn't. Like yeah. they somehow like Whoop. what what call it luck, call it We're putting them in number hmm? two? No, I wouldn't put them in number two. They're just in your top five. But they're in your top five at number like three? No, they probably should be at like above six. Baltimore. Yeah, they should be. <laughs> Panthers should be like, wow, they should, they should be at like they should Jonas. Be like, they should 16. be at like number six. In the Jonas, back. what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, I gotta. You know, I gotta. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta mix it up. up. You gotta mix it up. They're gonna mix it up. They're gonna mix it up. They're gonna mix it up. Absolutely, with yeah. Cam Newton. What? Well, I, I mean, I thought. I actually thought the Panthers were like like a, a B grade college team. Yeah. yeah. This year. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. yeah. I didn't even know they had a real team. So. Yeah. So who's your number one? Um, I, I, I think, uh, you, just for the heck of it and because, you know, we are in Dallas, mm-hmm. I'll have to say Cowboys. Yeah. Cowboys are your number one right mm-hmm. now. Right now, right now. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, that's pretty and solid. They, you know, that's, that's, and, that's, and that's, really, that shakes them up. Carolina? Yeah. But that really, really, the Cowboys, <laughs> the Cowboys that we have seen the last, the last yeah. this season especially, yeah. in the last few games, has been a completely different, like this is the Cowboys that we should have seen last year. Mm-hmm. For, the for sure, part. for, for sure. the most part, for sure. Oh, yeah. So I, your five? my five, all right. Oh man, five's. Uh, I mean, it's tough because it's a pretty competitive league. A lot of parity this year. It is. A ton of parity this it year is. in the league. Um, TBD too. Like yeah, five hundred six and four teams. Yeah. Is like 
So I, I, I have to go with the Cardinals, right? Number one? No, five. Five, okay. That's my I like number it. five. I like it. Um, and the Ravens, bro. I think I, I think last game was a fluke, bro. But I just mm-hmm. a light of fire. Four. Huh? They are tough, bro. Mm-hmm. They, they, they are tough. Mm-hmm. They are really tough. Um, gotta throw the Bucks in there mm-hmm. at three. Yeah, true, mm-hmm. true. Um, actually, I put the Bucks at two. I'm, uh, and, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I just sort of forgot about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and who? who right. did I, did I have the Ravens in there already? Yeah. You put Ravens at you got okay. Ravens in there. All right. So uh You got Cardinals, Ravens, Bucks. Yeah. And then uh I'll go Cowboys. Yeah. Because I'm not I want them to give them something to shoot for. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm not gonna right. put them right up at the top. Wow. I'm not gonna be a homer. <laughs> right. But y'all know what it well, is you put in my heart. Too. You know what it is in my heart. Uh, two. Oh, I didn't notice yeah. that. And the yeah. number one. Yeah, y'all know what it is in my heart, man. All right. But uh your number one number team one, in the number NFL one, man, today, right now. Tennessee. Balling. With Tennessee. with with Derrick Henry, Tennessee. So they don't have Derrick Henry, so what are you saying? Today. All right, so all right, let's, take, <laughs> so let's put an asterisk. Uh, asterisk, asterisk, just, just asterisk. Today. Today. Um today. Uh Green Bay. It has to be Green Bay. Okay. Right. And uh, the Rams would have been in there, but they've been taking some shady, shaky losses here recently. Defense and they, is being they've got to, they got to grow. They got to gel. Right. They got some new players in there. They got to get used to the scheme and everything. They can't stop the run, bro. But uh, the Rams, yeah, which is they, tough. That's how, tough. How's that bro. possible with Aaron Donald? Is it, like on, on You're the not line. the only one. That's what, um, yeah. yeah. And, and now Von Miller. Run, and, yeah. So, you know, but yeah. Yeah, it has to be Green Bay, right? Be Green um, Bay. Yeah. Most. The yeah. the most special quarterback in the league, I agree. Aaron Rodgers. People underestimate his athleticism. Yeah, great quarterback here, but the guy is very athletic. Yep, and uh, the defense doing what it's doing. Yeah, that bro. defense. They've surprisingly they've been shutting people down pretty mm-hmm. dang good. And Aaron Rodgers don't need that much. So that's my top five. Do you, like it. Would you like to give me you your know, top five? Actually, son? you guys have hit all around what I would have picked. <laughs> nice. Seriously, yeah. I I like the Cowboys. Yeah. yeah. But the Titans kind of goes back and forth mm-hmm. as yeah. far as, but I will tell you that my my brother and I are hoping and if a distant six, the LA Chargers. Oh, the Chargers, yeah, yeah, they're taking some they're losses recently. Yeah, but, but that yeah. quarterback is just oh, he's special. Be, he's special. He is. So yeah, that's my special. hope. Yep. Not that there's any basis of fully uh, <laughs> understanding it, but yeah. coming from that six one nine, right? Uh, uh, uh-huh. Those, you know those San Diego yep. Chargers back yep. in the. I still call them San Diego because they LA got Chargers some. Uh, still yeah, you know, home. You know yeah. who you remind me of? So I, I flew up to Chicago real mm-hmm. quick. Yep. Uh, for a TV show, and I got sat next to Matt Forte. Yeah, Matt Forte. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yep. Yep. him and I, I was embarrassed. I didn't know who he was yeah. and yeah. all that. And so we connect. He loves the Lord. Yeah, yeah. And yep. we're still connected, yeah. but. <clears throat> Visiting with him and, and talking to him on the phone, you remind me a lot of him. Well, Matt, yeah. man, yeah. You know, we almost had the same agent coming oh, out. His really? Name was That's a, wild. Adisa Bakari. Okay. And he was just getting into the game, and he was leaving the corporate game and getting into the sport game and bringing the marketing side to it. Mm-hmm. And so we're, I was cl- we were very close to having the same agent. That's how but Louisiana I, and I remember. Boy, man. Yeah. Independence, Louisiana. <laughs> yeah. Boy, he yeah. is on fire for the Lord. Ma- yeah, you know. yeah. Man, I yeah. just love talking with him. And yeah. he offered up his phone number. I'm like, so here's the thing, give me your phone. He's yeah. like, yeah. And so I never, ever yeah. put anybody else on the phone or anything like that. I just text him, hey, how you doing, Matt? How's your walk with the Lord? And yeah. so we've been connected for a couple of years. But nice. you're, you're That's mine. what's up. Yeah, we got to get right. Forte on the show, man. Just because I've, well, cool. I've got some other ties to him. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's work uh, on him then. Yeah, man. So that's that's <laughs> very cool. cool man. Very cool, man. So that's our NFL top five. We're gonna move on to NCAA, man, where we will start with the biggest upset in <laughs> NCAA Big Twelve. The biggest upset? Well, uh, there's two, nah. two 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 big upsets in the Big Twelve. The biggest upset. This is it two big upsets. Man. That was a bad one. Hey, it was a bad one, man. Oof. I don't know. I mean, it, was it really that bad? Because y'all no. actually at least lost to a ranked opponent. Well, yeah, it, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad in that we're we were we're not a great dominant team. Yeah, and Baylor is a good team. Yeah, like and so y'all at their place, definitely at their place. I mean, it matters more in college than it does in is, the league. Is Baylor's but quarterback that good? Because he looked really good. Bohannon Saturday. is nice, bro. Is Bohannon, really? is, yeah. If you want, I mean, just is he a prospect or is he just a good college player? He's a good college player. Gotcha. He's a good college player. Gotcha. Um, Isn't that he, weird? It is weird. 
but it is what it is because the level of competition at college versus, versus the NFL, NFL yep. is vastly different. Yeah. The IQ is just on a whole other level. So the Falcons would destroy Baylor. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Like, yeah. Absolutely. Like, it's just, yeah, there is no too much. Goodness. Yeah. Oh, what's going on, Rob? Um, no. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, it was, it was, it was, a. uh, uh it was it was tough to watch because yeah. they do, like they dominated us. Yeah, like, they really did dominate us. Um, were they more physical than you expected them to be? No, they have been. Yeah, I mean Baylor is. Yeah, you know that's a tough. That's gonna be a tough win. You know, like going in, you already know because they are very feisty. Like they've been yeah. that for years. I mean, since our brows. apart from Art, you know, leaving and then yeah. um, coach who just went to Carolina yeah. had to come in and kind of read, yep. do things. But he left it and great back in good shape, like yeah. really good shape. And here they are. And so no, I mean I I knew it was gonna be a tough game going in. I felt like we could have lost it, but I didn't think we would lose like that. Yeah. That's it. Caleb played very loose. And, you know, a lot of what, what was going on early was Caleb was loose, which was to his benefit. Yeah. There's a lot of plays that were 50 50 balls mm-hmm. um, that went his way. Yeah. When other plays were like, oh, yeah, you got to win. That's why it's 50 50. That's why it's 50 50. Yeah. But you can't live. Like that, as no. Patrick Mahomes. That's not yes. <laughs> like, no. You got to bring that back in. Yeah, yeah, but fundamentals yeah. matter. Like, yes. fundamentals right. matter. And you yes. have to hit things on time. You got to throw the ball on time. Like, yeah. 80% of the time, you got to be that. Yeah. And then there's room for backyard ball. Yes. Period. And yes. So he was 80% backyard ball. Yeah. And obviously, you can't live like that. And we, he didn't. And it didn't look good. So he got set down on the bench yeah. for a series similar to – what happened with Spencer, his first year playing, yeah. and then got to go back in, but it, the damage had already been done. Yeah, there was no coming back. Yeah. Like that was they were they were, they were on. Yeah, they were on. I, I didn't expect that at all. No, at all. Man, not and, like that. Uh, yeah, they. Not like that. No, I thought it was going to be a good game. I, yeah. It wasn't even a good game. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, they control. Yeah, that's right. I don't know how many three and outs they had, but they were yeah. good. And turn. And, yeah, and yeah. you know, that's just that, that was just a bad show on by OU. Um, yeah, they're a lot better team than what they displayed this past weekend. I think we know that. I think Baylor no. caused a lot of that. Yeah, I don't. I disagree. I don't think. You don't I think, think they're a better team than I what they, they are. Who they are? Yeah, because I, I I'm I haven't been impressed with our defense this year. We I mean we dominated a. Western Carolina, and we dominated, uh, you know, Tech when they came into town. Yeah. Um, apart from that, like it's it literally is fairly even matched, and we had to pull out. Yeah, because they we struggled to against out, Tulane. Yeah. They struggled against Tulane. And it's not the same. Our front struggled <laughs> last year. Tulane. Like the front was the we're missing strength. Ronnie Perkins. Perkins was a he was not only he was a force. Yeah. He was like our Aaron Donald. Yeah. And of sorts, like yeah. he can he was like an anchor. And yeah. He could wreck plays and. You know, it didn't even matter. They could have blew coverage on the back end, but Ronnie Perkins it's so got much to the ruckus. quarterback. Exactly. Yeah. And so it made everybody look good. Yeah. We don't got that. Yeah. And so our defense is an average defense mm-hmm. playing against average to below average teams. Yeah. Which leads to you're going to win. It's putting a lot of pressure on the offense. Be great. It's a ton of pressure. Putting on. a lot of, uh, especially a lot of pressure on a freshman. On a freshman. Now, it put a lot of pressure on Spencer. Yeah. In our offense. And certainly now yeah. on Caleb. Yeah. And so we're going to struggle. The next game is going to be a tough one. And, and the who, next one after that is going to be a tough one. Game? We have Iowa matter? State. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Bedlam? And then Bedlam. Oh. oh. Mm-hmm. And so oh. We, can, we can step up. And I think, you know, what can happen is um, for whatever, like offensively we can get hot. We, we were fairly streaky at times. I yeah. think we can get hot offensively. Defensively, I just feel like these games are going to be – it's going to be a shootout. Yeah, straight up. They're going to be shootouts, man. Straight just, up, man. That's, that's what it is. That's unfortunate. Because Oklahoma yeah, State isn't that that's bad. That's the state either. of the union. They're, they're pretty dang good. Yeah, um, they are. I was happy to see my boys. You know, Notre yeah. Dame, how you doing, Andy? Uh-huh. Went out, you know, kind of just started coasting after a while. You know, we got up early. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Got up early. 28, you know what I'm saying? 28-3. What was that? 28 It was, was 28-3. Yeah, like early, like halftime. It was like half twenty three. Yeah. Yeah. And just kinda coach. Just second half. rolled it on out. You know, Brian Kelly, I appreciate that sportsmanship you displayed, you know. <laughs> making sure our guys are good for the following week. This coming up week. So indeed, you indeed. know, we're rolling, man. We're gonna keep climbing the charts, man. I just, I, I'm happy that we're ahead of OU now. Um yep. Georgia rolled Ballin. over Tennessee. Like those guys like score forty points like it's you know, clockwork, like it's easy money. Yeah. So I think they're and really they number told one. People under twenty. Uh, I'm going to be interested to see what happens in that SEC championship game and who very, they face. You think very. it'll be Alabama? 
I do. Yeah. Yeah. I yep. do. I think. I, uh, yes. Absolutely. That'll be. That'll be interesting. It will be interesting. Yeah. yeah be, so because the, some tailgating will happen. Oh yeah, <laughs> tailgating will guarantee definitely one thousand percent. I'm willing to bet everything in my left pocket. Win, right? That's tailgating. That's for the real win. That's, a, that's some serious tailgating. Oh for action. sure, right? Oh, I forgot we didn't do our toast, but I look up and I see two empty cups. Yeah, and, uh, so yeah, all right. we can still do it though. Hey, PD toast, man, to the past oh, and the geez. present, <laughs> the past, you know? present, and future. Yeah. Cheers, man. Performance enhancing drinks, you know, one time. Yeah. All right, but um, but, yeah, yeah, back to it, man. So, um. Michigan beat Penn State. You know, Michigan's balling this year, playing a little yep. better. They can oh, take yeah. an L early in the year, but we'll see what happens against Ohio State. That seems to be the thorn in uh, Jim Harbaugh's side. Yep. So, we'll see what happens there. Kansas broke a 50, what, 56 game? Fix, 56 road. game road. Sorry, 56 road game. 56 game road, road losing yeah. streak. Really? Gold, yeah, game 56? road losing streak. 56, 56. In a row. They lost 56 Hell. in a row. And beat Texas this weekend. Road games. That's crazy. Fifty six road games in a row. And That's beat crazy. Texas this weekend. So on the road just damn. I'm not gonna I'm Look not gonna go horns down, point. but that one ain't point. you know, come on, y'all gotta one figure point. it out, man. But they Yeah, so we're horns down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I already know. Right? Yeah, we are there. <laughs> <laughs> Renee, Renee, Renee. Hey. Yeah, I'm going to start calling you hype, man. I'm going to start calling you hype, man. All the hype, bro. Yeah. All the hype behind you, man. All the big bucks behind you, bro. And you're doing, they could have kept Tom Herman. At least he was winning. He was definitely beating Kansas, you know. He was beating so, Kansas. Sark, you know, I don't know about you right now. You're, you're skept right now. Um, yep. Uh, Jackson State, Mississippi, Jackson you know, State, they had a yeah. huge win. They beat Southern this weekend. I didn't see that coming. Southern's yep. a, you know, Bayou Classic, Southern University down yeah. in, in Baton Rouge. Yep. You know, they, they've been yep. a, a powerhouse they, they've been good. In, in the yep. swag for a long time. And Jackson State, man, they've got one loss this year. Okay, yeah. okay. One loss this year. And that was a game they should have won. After the spring season, huh? Yeah, bro. Yeah, right they lost to Monroe, man. They lost to losing in Monroe, man. I know they're just like, ugh. We let them beat us, man. man. Keep us out of the top 25. 21-17? <laughs> yeah, 21-17, nice. man. Good game. Uh, Shador Sanders, Dion's uh, son, came in through the game, winning touchdown late in the game to, right. to, to win that bad so, boy. Yeah. Great, great game. Great job by the Jackson State, man. Uh, you guys looking, you know, shout out to you guys out there. Uh, NBA talk right now real quick. NBA. Trying to roll through this real fast. The Mavs, they're doing better than I thought they would. They Man. are not who we thought they were. <laughs> right? Well, I saw a Przingis sighting. Hey, it points I said some singers go to the hole. Like, <laughs> drive to the hole. Yeah. I was like, saw him ducking. What? 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 Points right. is, you know. Huh? He's trying to he's trying to earn his millions. Is Luke <laughs> getting those free throws down yet? Oh, I don't know oh, about that. Yeah. That that is that's been an <laughs> that's issue. Interesting. That, that's, that's so weird. <laughs> that's ten so ten weird. feet outside the three point line and yeah. sink it all Bang. day. And just clock see, running down. Yeah. No no. It's yeah. like he didn't hit it. That's why they compare him to throw. LeBron, because LeBron's the same way. <laughs> same way. <laughs> hit a free throw. Can't hit a free throw. I can Bro, have I can yeah, have three dudes in my three like that either. Right. He's not. He's not. He's but not. yeah, but yeah, Luca. We, we digress. Speaking Luka. of Luca, he had an injury, <laughs> hurt his ankle, uh, twisted his ankle. He had a roll. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm um, late in the game. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how long he's going to be out or if he's going to mm. be out. Right. Uh, but Mavericks are doing much better than I thought. Yep. Uh, yep. The, is it the late show or the fake show? Fake. It's the fake show. It ain't going nowhere. Well, LeBron hasn't played you. the past seven games, so that's really LeBron gets back. It's just more chaos. AD's over there acting like who's who? Who's going to win? Who are we? Who are we? Yeah. Identity crisis for the whole year. Well, I mean, hey, uh, until right. Russ decides cook. that he's going to come off the too bench. Too many Chiefs. Too many Chiefs. Yeah. He gets paid too much. Yeah. Too big ego. Too many Chiefs. And the exact opposite thing <laughs> is going on in Washington right now with the Wizards. Yeah, and Golden State. And Golden State. My, last night was. Yeah. Man, yeah, step, step went, went crazy. They started having MVP chance, yeah, in, in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. <laughs> for step for real, they didn't like tell him to shoot it, like shoot it, shoot it, yeah. shoot it. Shoot. like it was nine three, amazing. Like, nine, have you watched Steph Curry oh, play basketball? Yes. Like that guy, is so, he is the greatest shooter ever, unconscious. Ever. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean yeah, just. Yeah. Talk about touch. Flick of the wrist. Yeah. The follow through. The all flick of the wrist. Somebody yeah. figuring out Bro. what they were meant to do and doing it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> like, on, like, a he, he <laughs> on a string. He did that. On a string. On a string. Yeah. That dude there is just, you know, Steph, like, and he's going to play for another, I don't know how many more years. Man. Like, that guy, he already broke the three point record. 
Yep. Man, that dude there is pretty incredible, man. No, nah, that team um, is, is awesome. And yeah. then and they got a he got a supporting cast for real for real now. Yeah, he does. Pool, I was very I was like, oh Is he a rookie? He's a creator. Um no. Pool of what is it, second or second or third year. Is he he came so, last year. So, oh, wow. So he's so just, he's just blooming right up. now. Yep. Wow. And they don't even Boots. have <laughs> Nope. Doesn't even have my boy back here. Like they got a, a young athletic, like, bro. Yeah. yeah, they don't even got Clay back. Yeah, or they don't have Clay Wiseman. back. Wiseman. Wiseman. Oh, my Matt. gosh. And, yeah, bro, they they are looking really good. Draymond yeah. running the show for the most part. Like, it's, it's yeah. they're that's really the good. Yeah. That's the enforcer. Yeah. But they look the, like going to State of Old. The Wizards are great. Come they to are, find out. Or they're pretty solid they're, right they now. They play great early. team ball. They've been they are, playing really yeah. good ball. And they know um, who the guy is. The Bitcoin, Mr. Bitcoin. That's it. <laughs> Mr. Bitcoin is out there Bitcoins, balling, baby. bro. Hey, when you, yeah, that's the formula. I yeah. mean, you got to have that. Like. Yeah, bro. And uh, so Wizards surprising everybody. Um, quietly, the Bucks suck. <laughs> How good is PJ? How good is PJ Tucker? Because <laughs> he went to Miami, and the Bucks are horrible now. It's crazy. PJ's a, he's a, he's a, a Draymond of yeah. sorts. Like, yeah. Was he's he that a, He's a culture guy, like. That mentality, like his mentality, those guys that have that mentality, you have to have that guy because that that is championship mentality. Like you got to, because when it's tired, it's tough, the pressure's on. That kind of guy, yeah, goes and messes up whoever the best guy on the other squad is. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm just going to That's what that's what he did to the Rams. I'm just going to get it. That's, that's, that's what he did to the Rams. That's exactly what he did to the Rams. Friends. Right. Was, he was in right the whole time. He ain't going to do nothing. Bouncing noses. You're not doing nothing, Durant. Swing on me. You're not going to do it. Yeah, yeah, bro. No, that's. No, you got to have that guy. Yeah. And that, and he, he, yeah. That shows how that's big impact. It matters a lot. Yeah. How great of an impact he made on that team. It's weird, bro. It's weird, but. The Greek Freak is still there, but they only got six wins this year. Part of the formula. It's kind of wild, man. And this weekend, we got a big boxing match, man. Terrence yep. Crawford, Sean Porter. Yep. Holy cow. Holy cow. We've just been waiting to see Terrence fight anybody here for like <laughs> two years. But uh, it's going to be a good fight, man. Sean Porter, you know, Earl beat him uh, last, and Sean gave him a good fight. Yep. Sean's like that guy that. All right, if you're really, really good, we're going to put him in here for a test. Mm. Yeah, he's the test. Yeah, he's the test. Before he's like champ, the Apollo the Creed to Rocket. Okay. Yeah, like he can fight, but we don't expect him to win. Gotcha. But you got to beat him. You got to beat him. To beat him. So, it's going to be a great fight this weekend, man. A lot of eyes going to be on that match. But, uh, <laughs> got to beat him, man. <laughs> yeah, beat the man. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, on to my favorite part of the show. Jonas don't like this too much. He's more so into the sports. Yeah, Worse. but Tech Talk, baby, Tech Talk. What you got for us this week, Jay? Just talk sports. Well, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Keep it slim since we're uh, running way over. <laughs> Are we? Oh, it's on two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but uh, it's all good. But is it? Because here's the next big thing on the on the cybersecurity front is hacking time. Yeah, that. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to my my you analog. Tell. You have to go back to your analog. Well, okay. So, hacking so official time? Is that what you're talking about? Time, yeah. mm. So think about this. Like my watch, mm-hmm. your watch, a lot, of, a lot of people's watches now get their time from the phone. Yeah, mm-hmm. Bluetooth. Where's your phone, phone get this time, time from? from. Uh-huh. Well, the phone gets this time from some server back at Verizon or AT&T or C Spire or whatever. Where, they, Where does that server get its time from? <laughs> right. Okay. Well, follow that chain all the way back. And there's some atomic clocks from way back that are the official time. Yeah. That's, that's the official time. And they broadcast that time on a long wave radio signal. If you ever had one of those clocks that would automatically pick, pick up the time, that's how it does yeah. it. It's got, it picks mm-hmm. up a radio wave. Mm. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> Turns out that's stupid easy to intercept that signal. All mm. right. Mm. And you can set the time to be whatever you want it to be. All right? So what? who gives a crap? Well, if you're banking, then when a transaction went through makes a big difference. Yeah, stock exchange. There was a, what was it? There was a, mm-hmm. there was a, a movie not too long. I think, it was, I think it was a Bond movie, but it may have been, may have been something else. I think mm-hmm. it was Sean Connery. Okay. Where there was a big, there was a big deal. They were going to steal a bazillion dollars. It all hinged on shutting that, stopping, stopping the time in between, in between mm. like midnight and midnight oh one, mm. 
and they were going to capture these these transactions in between there and send them off to the wrong place. Mm-hmm. Somebody mm-hmm. planted a seed. Yeah. Exactly. Right. And so so that's the kind of thing that you have control over with this at a first glance. But at, on another level, I mean, you know, we also have a lot of other things. We have power systems that are, that are time mm-hmm. sensitive. We have yep. Uh, you know, uh, flow traffic flow control systems and port control systems that are time sensitive. Yep. So if you can manipulate that, even just a little bit, just a little bit, yeah. you don't cause like yeah. you can cause some, you can wreak some or havoc. You can take advantage, yeah. you can take advantage. or you can take advantage of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. And it turns out that that doing this is is just ridiculously easy. Like like literally anybody with a with a you know. A couple hundred dollars worth of equipment mm-hmm. can can set this up, and wow, you know, then all you have to have is plan. Yeah, uh, and so you know, there's some there's some safeguards built into that down the line, like internal. But they're clubs. not, yeah. But there's no, but there's no coordination to how that's, you know, how you would address that. Yeah, it's so like it's just oh, if it's just, somebody was to hack it, because right, who's right. How would you, how would you know, or you know, who, right. who would that's who would the, like, but there's only, there has yeah, to be a limited, who do you then go back to limited and, and amount check up on? <laughs> of uh, points of de- like fl- where you can actually access those networks. There, yeah, like, there's right. not a ton of it's not like right. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah it's not like, like something that. where it's not like something like where we could sit here with a laptop and get into you know it's not that kind of a it's not that kind mm-hmm. of a hack. It's it's actually kind of worse because even though there's you know, like you might have to be in a certain position relative to what you want to hack. Like you don't have to have, you don't have, you don't even have to have a laptop really. Like mm-hmm. you just need something that can broadcast a stronger mm-hmm. signal in the direction that you need it to go. And, and you're going. No, I mean, in, in, in terms of a solution. Oh, in terms of a solution. There's only like, what, six hubs that's probably given off. Um, official so, time, like in well, the world, right? Okay, so mean time, I don't want right. to. I don't want to bore everybody completely <laughs> know, to death. Yeah. But I'm like, all right. but yeah, this is tripping. So the way, the way, the way that so that all of this stuff is based on uh, a protocol called Network Time Protocol (NTP). Okay, and it dates back to probably like the 50s. Like it's okay. it's old. It's been around for a long time, pretty much unchanged. Okay. Which is good in one sense in that it's fairly robust, but there's no security on it yeah. at all. None. Like, it's just, you know. It, yeah. And so there's there's hundreds of, of these time servers. Microsoft has time servers. Right, right, right. AT&T, ha- they all have their time servers. That's fine. Like, they can control those. But they all it all converges back to these atomic clocks. There's right. a handful, like, five or so like mm-hmm. there's just a very small number of these atomic clocks that are exactly. synchronized around the world that broadcast that signal out yeah. and everybody else is looking back at those same things so right uh you know kind of like you know kind of like if you were if you were wanting if you were wanting to sabotage the ravens uh-huh Right, like there's a lot of things you could do. Like you no, could no. go and you make them come out to the game two hours late. You you can make them go, yeah. But, but like if you, <laughs> like right. if you, you know, you could attack somebody's, you know, like you could steal somebody's shoes, or you could like you could do something to the football. Not that anybody's ever done anything no, no. like that. No, yeah. <laughs> but but <laughs> if you started with you know like injecting something into the Gatorade before it ever left the factory, mm-hmm. like. Like they would never know. Like it would yeah. be done and over with by the time anybody figured mm-hmm. out what happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's kind of the position that that we're finding ourselves in now. Is like, like if somebody had the wherewithal to put the plan together of how they're going to exploit this, because that's the part that's missing. Yeah, what would be the point? What's what's the plan? <coughs> yeah, yeah, what's the plan? What's the plan? Uh, and the you know, and the plan, like you said, would be to make something. You know, make somebody who's supposed to be receiving, you know, a million dollar transaction show up. Two seconds yeah. late, especially when you start talking about cryptocurrency transactions where there's fewer verifications of the traditional type where a human person is going to go look and did he sign this thing? Did right. he sign it over here? Okay, go let it go ahead. There's a lot of things that are based on, very tightly based on a time signature yep. 
that's you know where where this has to happen and then this has to happen. So yeah. basically, you create a gap. gap. And you're, if, you're, more, if you're able to create, well, there there is in a sense, but a lot of it traces back to a timestamp in some form or fashion. Yeah. Uh, and so you can inject something in in between the spaces if you can create enough of a space, which you're talking seconds, milliseconds. Mm-hmm. But if you can inject something in between there. Uh, you know, it's a we're it's talking a, like yeah. criminal cases. Yeah, right? this would be this, right. Yeah, like, this is, like there's a, there was a text message sent at this time and this time, but let me go ahead and yeah. inject something in here real quick. Right. We're talking about the difference between somebody yeah. being free and somebody being guilty. Is it? Is it? Is like, it? That's I mean, just an is example. It, is it something in that regard to yeah. say actually at you know yeah. from four o'clock to six o'clock I was here. Right. Here's the proof. Right. right. Yeah. That right. yeah. could be yeah, valuable. For and, sure. Like yeah. right. location, right? So the so the, the thing is you know like how the, they look at, oh, from that time. Oh yeah, 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 to that yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. yeah, no, actually he was over here. You can see yeah. where his location is. Well and, yeah. and, so, and yeah. so that that's another thing, you know, not to not to give anybody any terrible ideas, but this would <laughs> oops. This would require some some in depth. <laughs> like if you're if you're yeah. smart enough to figure out how yeah, to do this. Make me think of this. I think like this. I think like yeah. But all of all of all of our GPS equipment is based on Time, Essential. time being, yeah, yeah. yeah. synchronized. Part of it. Yeah. Like if the if the time isn't synchronized, then then the GPS doesn't work right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, now, like I said, if you if you can figure yeah. out how to exploit that, then no you don't need me to tell you that it's exploitable. Right. <laughs> yep, yep. Because that's a that's pretty complicated, but it's there. Yeah. Like, and the yeah, thing is, and the the scary wow. part about it is that that it was so easy for them to overtake that 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 time signal. Yeah, that. Oh yeah, like some, they're they're thinking old on a tech. higher level. Like old those, tech. I thought I was ahead of the game. These old, kids. Old yeah. tech. And so Greg's got, Greg's got something something for us, but I want I want to show you, you share go. with you one more one more yes. thing. Yeah, uh, a little little bit happier than the last one. This is this week. This past week was mm-hmm. 50 years since the first commercially available microprocessor uh, was was produced in 71. The first one, 71, November of 71. Holy cow! <laughs> Michael, the first, that was the first, first commercially mic- available commercial. Who bought it? Uh, it Lord? was a no. It was actually a. Uh, it was actually a Japanese company, and I'm drawing. Oh, like, oh, Mitsubishi. Should have known. I'm going with Mitsubishi. <laughs> no, but yeah. Yeah, they, so <laughs> Intel. Intel. <laughs> right. This was the. Uh, right. This was the Intel four zero zero four processor yeah uh, that you've probably never heard of nope. uh but it Sounds well you dope. might you might have you might have had one of the calculators <laughs> right, uh, <laughs> but they were it yeah, was basically it, it was basically a po- pocket calculator pocket. I mean, that, was, oh. that was the level of of intelligence that was yeah. empowered that you could, yeah, which yeah, was a big yeah, deal like, like I, my I, mind was oh, i remember out. i remember when when the first like small like you could carry it around in your hand you could put, put it in, in your, your pocket if you had big pockets yeah like calculator that you still had to plug in. Exactly. Yeah, right? yeah. It wasn't batteries. Right. No you batteries. had to plug it in. So yeah, wow. like I was, my mom was blown to find out that computers and calculators were job descriptions back in the day. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not a yeah. item or instrument. Right. Like yeah. there was a so there was a person in this company that there is known person, as the yeah. computer. Yeah. There's a person in this company that is the calculator. Yeah. <laughs> a com- computer. A computer used to be. And a now lady. they're a device. Yeah, that blew the, my mind, bro. The yeah, computer room used to be a room with a bunch of ladies in it. Yeah, with, with, exactly. there was the computers. Computer there, that's they were wild. the computers. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Wow, that's Which wild. A, you talk about that movie about what some of uh, where the gals were doing the NASA stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's a pretty amazing that's story. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, the black girls. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah I don't amazing. Care true story. They were too. computers. Yeah. That's exactly. They were. They, they were, were computers. computers. Science. Not like they were just computers. Not even human computers. And the, they were just computers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because like, these computers didn't exist back then. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's what. That's what. What was the the one the one company was the digital computer. Yeah. Company because it was the first the electronic. It was electronic conversion. Oh, that's crazy. So, Greg, look, I, we've been wondering yeah. what's, what's, what's been in, in the this. Box, what's in the box? box right? Well, right, bro. this is actually from the new Springfield SOCOM 16 that I bought. I put a Tech <laughs> on it with uh-huh. a three power magnifier, nice. but I figured, <laughs> I figured it's probably good to carry some cards, and I just want to say that. You know, I spent a lot of money for my kids to get into fishing and hunting, yeah. including <laughs> land and RVs and Your all passions. This, my passions. Yeah. Yep. Because I know that that's how we could connect. And yep. if they had time outside <coughs> of sports, yep. we would be. So I had to rethink it. <laughs> yeah. And so 
One, I became uh, assistant coach uh, softball varsity assistant oh, coach yeah. for Parish Episcopal. Yeah. Nice. Oh, so nice. that's with my daughter. Nice. And okay. I asked her permission. Okay. I asked her permission. Is this okay with you? Oh, I'd love that. Okay, good. Well, I had to find something with my son, and that was collecting cards. Mm. And the first time I brought a batch home and watched his face light up, I didn't care if we sold a card or whatever. It's just like something that we can talk back and forth mm -hmm. on and yeah, he yeah. can educate me that's the only reason i could talk even a little bit about sports what you guys are, <laughs> yeah, is because yeah. he's schooling me well, so, I hope you learn something today with us man you know so i brought some of not that they're worth a whole lot of money but i brought some of my favorite cards what that uh baby ruth <laughs> holy cow a gold oh oh what this is Hank Aaron right here. Yeah. That's the Fun fact. Hank. Before the All-Star Games, the Braves crazy. won. Yeah. This year, oh, that the Braves the won the World Rookies. Series. Right. Before the All-Star right. Game, they won 44 games. Hank Aaron passed away. Mm. After the All-Star Game, they won 44 games. Really? Huh. Really? Yes. You got to, when you're doing that, tilt it just a little bit. Oh, the oh, Sanders. Stop. The <laughs> prom. Prom awesome. time, baby. We got Bro, Ted Williams crazy. right here. Yeah, that Ted. one is one of my favorites. That is, there. oh, Ted, I love it, Ted. Yeah. I love Ted Williams. It's an it's insert remake. Too. Yeah. Here's a Sandy remake. Koufax. That's Ted Williams. That's Sandy Koufax. Oh, yeah, that's and awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Camera. Oh, the, you want yeah, that? Yeah, you got him. Yeah. So just a way yeah, to connect awesome. with my boy, and so there I called. Is. Oh, there, there it is. is. Oh, Williams. there you go. Look time. at that. Yeah. Look at that. That's a beautiful card right there, bro. Oh, I'm a fan. Like, I love. He's one of my favorites rookies. ever. Yeah, we got the Hank Aaron. So man. you haven't seen. Sa we got Sandy Koufax, man. Oh yeah. So how much is that box worth? <laughs> the box? You mean just in <laughs> cards? Yeah. <laughs> that Sandy. Oh, look at that Sandy yeah, right there. <laughs> I don't know. You'd have yeah, to ask my businessman, had, and my he son. He had to bring a Dodger <laughs> yeah, in, man. He had to bring a Dodger in, in the this building. This is crazy. And y'all know who it is. Damn it. Yep. Those, I, I believe, if I'm calculated right, that How about them Cowboys? These are rookie cards. Rookie. Emma Smith rookie cards right here, man. Man. And I called my Ooh. boy. Here's the biggest thing. I That's called my I'm boy this morning asking directions or times and asking what, is, what he wanted as far as <laughs> basketball players. So... Here is a Lamelo Ball rookie card. This is the a this is the old, you, this is a back then <laughs> yeah. Shohei Otani card right here. This is a <laughs> nice the new school Shohei. I mean uh, Shohei Otani old that's school. That's his guy. Ruth. This is Babe Ruth right here, man. That's this a, a that's a beautiful guy. card right there. And you know I love Lamelo Ball, man. Hello. I love Lamelo Ball. I think he's the future of basketball. It's I told, yours. I told you that. Away, it'll, oh, what? No, I'm giving it to you. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, we got to do a swap now, bro. I got to give you something. No, you know, it's <laughs> it's been an honor being on this show with nice. you guys. And I just. Oh, uh, great. Greg. Yeah, bro. Respect. Like, definitely Love appreciate Mello. you coming on, man. Appreciate Thank it. you for that having me. That story, bro, time. like that was a different dynamic that we needed on this show, man. I love it. I appreciate you coming, man. Thank you. Looking forward to chopping it up more with you, bro. Thank you. you Can I give yourself? a shout out real quick? Absolutely, yeah. man. Please to do. To the two-time state champion, Parish Panthers, playing oh, at the that. Star this weekend. Okay. Hoping for a three-peat in uh, nice. tap six in yeah. My boy's gonna be playing. He's just he's the backup quarterback, and they've got a bunch of good boys. Hey Ben, are... what's up? Shout out, Big Ben. That's my boy right there. That's my shortstop, Dallas Tigers, baby. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, We're gonna that. kick that out, man. That's my guy, yeah. man. Hey, did he cut the mullet? He did. He and cut the mullet. No. No. He took the blonde away. Oh, no, Ben, cut yeah. the blonde. It's all good. It's all good, man. I still uh, love you, bro. Cool. I still love you, man. Hey, appreciate y'all watching today, man. Greg, thank you for coming thank on. Thank you Shane. for having yeah, me. Yeah, appreciate it. Very right? powerful. I do. Um, as far as the book availability, yes. I only touched. That was the elevator pitch. Yes. Wild yeah. Awakening, Barnes and Nobles, um, all the places you can buy books. That's the nice. best way to get it. Got you. Got you. Yeah, right. y'all go grab that book, man. Crazy story, man. And that's only a <laughs> tidbit of it right there, man. Go get the rest of it. Great Awakening, like you said, Barnes and Noble website. What's your website? It is. Or did you want to share that? It's all good. It's uh, under construction right now. I'm <laughs> having yeah, it right. redone. Oh, perfect. Okay. perfect. So, um, but I will tell you that uh, you will not be sorry in reading that book. And it's audio book. It's e-book. It's hardback. Awesome. It's paperback. Uh, Amazon. Uh, I mean, you, you can like be it. here tomorrow. You got yeah. it. Silverback. Hey. Read a book, man. 
88, 88, baby, got to go. Got to go on this note, man. How about them Cowboys? <laughs> good for your brain. Go, go Cowboys. Next Wednesday, man, just before Thanksgiving, it's going to be a great show. We, are we doing a show next Wednesday? We didn't talk about it. No, it's Thanksgiving week. All right, cool, yeah. We're going to take next week off. Thanksgiving. We're hey, we gonna, I'm going to throw something up for you to, <laughs> some to, to watch, yeah, though, throw man. Some Cowboys something. Might throw some greatest <laughs> hits. Might put something together for the newest greatest <laughs> hits for y'all to check out, man. We've had some great shows. Yeah. If you've missed them, man, go check them out. You don't have to watch a live show only. We are uh, at www.youtube.com. Uh, uh, YouTube.com slash C slash Noonish. Go subscribe, <laughs> lock, like. Um, what's the other one? Uh, uh, yeah, subscribe, sub- 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 subscribe, like, share, all that, man. Do tell, it today, tell man. Your tell your friends. Tell That's your mom right. and your friends. We'll see y'all next week. No shave November in the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we at. <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs>